Caillou was having lots of fun throwing snowballs in the park with Rosie. Watch out, Rosie! Here it comes! But he couldn't get his snowballs to stay together. Why isn't this working? He wanted so badly to join in on the <laughs> snowball fight. My snowballs keep breaking. You've just got to pack it nice and hard so that it stays together, like this. Daddy had made the snowballs stick together, and Caillou wanted to test it out for himself. <laughs> what do you say we try something else before we make Mommy into a snowman? Snowman? Oh, I know! Let's build a snowman! Yay! Snowman! Oh, oh! I want to make a snowman with a big carrot nose and button eyes! <laughs> First, we need to make the snowman's body, Caillou. Why don't you and Rosie collect some snow, and Daddy and I will find sticks for the arms. Yeah! Caillou and Rosie were enjoying collecting the snow for their snowman. Great work, Caillou! Now let's see if we can make a nice, big, round ball. Caillou wasn't sure how to make his snowman so nice and round. But then he had an idea. Oh, I know! We have to pack it together, just like the snowballs! Snowballs! That's right! It's just like making big, round snowballs. Big, round snowballs! The big snowman with the button eyes and the carrot nose made Caillou very happy. Look out! Suddenly, a sled came crashing into the snowman. Oh no! Our snowman! It was Leo. Caillou was sad that their snowman had fallen over, but he was happy to see Leo. Oh, hey Caillou! Leo, what are you doing here? I'm just trying out my new sled. Do you want to have a try? Sure. Mommy, Daddy, can I go play with Leo for a while? <laughs> of course, Caillou. Just be careful. Caillou couldn't wait to test out Leo's sled. So, it's really easy. You just get in and slide all the way down. Cool. The hill looked big and scary, and Caillou wasn't sure that he wanted to sled down it anymore. Don't worry, Caillou. Even if you fall, the snow is so soft that it won't hurt. Look! See? Doesn't hurt at all. I don't know, Leo. It's a long way down. Come on, let's do it together. Woohoo! Alright! Watch out, Caillou! <laughs> that was awesome! I told you it didn't hurt! <laughs> My snowman! <laughs> Caillou felt bad for knocking down the snowman. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to knock down your snowman. Hey, I know! Why don't we build an even bigger snowman? Bigger snowman? Yeah, and this one will be just for you! Yay! Big snowman! Caillou had had a great day playing in the snow, and he was happy to be with Leo and his family. I can't wait to play in the snow again! Oh! <laughs> Snowball fight! <laughs> We're almost there!
What's the matter, Clem? It's a long way down. I've never done it before. What if I can't do it? What if I fall off? We could head down to that smaller hill. It'll be easier. I felt that same way when I was skiing. You did? Yeah. I was so excited to go skiing for the first time. My daddy suggested I try sledding instead because skiing for the first time can be tricky. But I didn't want to sled. I wanted to ski. took us higher and higher and higher. I started to feel a little nervous. Come here, Caillou. Let's get your skis on. I got into my skis and couldn't wait to get started. Okay, Caillou, are you ready? Now, you need to bend your knees, but keep your back straight. That's very important for balance. Skiing is all about balance. Let's try going in a straight line first. All right now, Caillou, are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Go! I couldn't stay up and fell over. I was so upset. I'd waited so long to learn to ski. I noticed Rosie and Mommy a little ways down the mountain. They were sledding! Can I, Daddy? <laughs> of course, Caillou. You can learn to ski another time. We can start off slow. Okay, are you ready then, Caillou? Knees bent, shoulders square, get your balance. Off we go! I went so fast! It was the best thing ever! As soon as I reached the bottom, I ran up the hill to do it all over again. I didn't lose my balance and I got better and better. <laughs> See, Clem, my daddy was right. I should have tried sledding to begin with. But maybe, after all I've learned on the sled, I will be next year. My daddy always says, never to run before you can walk. Let's try the smaller hill, and maybe you can do the big one next time. Hey, Caillou! Clem! Wait up! Huh? Ah! <laughs> it's slippery out there, so be careful, okay? We don't want you falling and hurting yourself. Rosie, hold on tight to your penguin, okay? Are you sure you don't want a penguin too, Caillou? No thanks, Mommy. I want to learn all by myself. Okay. Oh. Careful now. Oh, 
you try the penguin, Caillou, just to get started. There's no shame in accepting help. <laughs> I guess I could use a little help. Hmm. All right. Are you ready to let go of the edge, Caillou? You're doing great, Caillou. Now try with just the penguin. Ready? Hmm. Ready. <laughs> Look, Mommy, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's it. You got it, Caillou. Cold. How's about some nice hot chocolate? <gasps> You see how many snowmen you can knock down. That's unlucky, Caillou. Now it's Rosie's turn. <laughs> Last snowball, Caillou. You can do it. Want you getting lost, okay? We're all going to stick together. <sighs> okay, mommy. Oh, look, they've got a coconut shy. Let's give it a go. Coco shy. All right, guys, you're about to find out why my school friends used to call me Boris, destroyer of coconuts. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my turn. Uh, uh. I Whoa. did it! I did it! Well done, Caillou. You won a prize. Which one would you like? Now, I bet 
I can't do nearly as well as you just did. Wait that till Gilbert really sees this. Huh? <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, that cotton candy looks amazing. Do you want me to look after your toy, Caillou? Well, Caillou? Wow! Can I have some cotton candy, Mommy? <gasps> Mommy? Oh, oh no! Uh, I'm lost! a better view. Aha! Uh, no good. Still not high enough. Maybe... Aha! Caillou! Caillou! Let's try the Ferris wheel. From all the way up there, we might be able to see where Caillou is. Uh, I can't see him anywhere. Uh, I can't see them anywhere. <gasps> there, I see him. He's gone into the Hall of Mirrors. Mommy! Daddy! Caillou? <gasps> are you in here? Mommy? Mommy! Caillou! Uh, uh... 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 <gasps> huh? Caillou, thank goodness we found you. Where have you been? I'm so sorry, Mommy. I didn't need to get lost. I saw the cotton candy stall, and then you were gone, and... It's okay, Caillou. I'm just happy we found you. You shouldn't run off on your own. It's so dangerous. And if you do get lost, you must find a police officer or someone else in charge, okay? I won't do it ever again. I promise. Well, I think we've had enough fairground excitement for one day. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way to the exit. Um, does anyone know where the exit is? Now we're all lost. Huh. I know. We should find a police officer. Right, Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. <gasps> Caillou runs to look out the window. Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. <laughs> Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise oh. cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picks up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Oh, no. Gilbert, where are you going? <laughs> Silly cat. <laughs> Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. We make a snowman? Yes, Caillou. But we have to go to the market first. Oh. 
when they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good! We're having special surprise cake, so we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly, he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! <laughs> there she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Now let's go home. I know, Caillou, but you're home now. And it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman. Caillou and his family went to a tree farm to pick up this year's Christmas tree. What about this one, Daddy? It's so big! <laughs> it is very big, Caillou. Maybe a bit too big for the living room. Let's find one that's a little smaller. Oh, okay. What about the ones over here, Caillou? I'm sure we'll still find one that's lovely and green, and it'll look even better once you and Rosie have decorated it. I guess so. Hey, how about you pick out the last few decorations once we bought the tree? Yes, please, Daddy! What do you think of this one, kids? Tree! Tree! Rosie likes this one, Mommy. I think we should get it. Great. I'll go get someone to help me get this on the car, and you and Daddy can pick out the last few decorations. Oh, wow! Let's go, Daddy! Caillou ran into the store. There were so many things to see. He didn't know where to begin. Oh, Daddy! I don't know what to choose! There are so many amazing decorations! Well, we need some more tinsel, some new lights, and a star for the top of the tree. Why don't you pick what you like and put it in the basket? Idea. These will look so nice with the tree. 
What about the lights? There are white ones, colored ones, and flashing ones. The flashing colored ones! They look amazing! They do, don't they, Caillou? Hmm, now we just need a star for the top. Can you see where they are kept? Caillou knew what the shape of a star looked like, so he looked around the store <gasps> until he saw one. There, Daddy! Caillou, you shouldn't run off like that, so I can't see you. I know you're excited, but you need to stay safe. Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just don't want you to get lost. I just saw this awesome star, and I really want it for the tree. Wow, that is nice. Let's get that one. I'm sure Mommy and Rosie will love it. Let's get these and head back to the car. A kind man helped Mommy and Rosie attach the tree to the top of the car. Caillou was excited to show all the decorations to Mommy and Rosie that he and Daddy had bought. Mommy, we bought all the decorations. Where is the tree gone? It's in that bag on top of the car to protect it for the journey home. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get it home and decorate it. Are we going now? Yes, Caillou. Let's go back. Would you like some hot cocoa when we get home, too? Oh, yes, please, Mommy. I know I would. Coco! And Rosie. <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait for Daddy to finish putting up the tree. He wanted to cover it in all the pretty decorations they had bought. Whoops! Oh, dear. Are you okay, Caillou? Yeah, I'm fro- <gasps> Gilbert! Silly cat! You can't put up the decorations! Watch out for the baubles! Oh, dear. What has happened here? You have got yourselves into quite a mess. I'm sorry, Mommy. Can we put the decorations on the tree now? That sounds like a great idea. Caillou helped put the colorful flashing lights around the tree, decorate with tinsel, and hang the baubles on the branches. <laughs> Even Gilbert lent a paw as well. Just the star on the top now. Would you like to do it, Caillou? Rosie should do it. What a good big brother you are, Caillou. Wow! It looks amazing! This is going to be the best Christmas ever! Mommy was in the living room making holiday cards to send out to all her friends. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm making some holiday cards to get into the holiday spirit. Caillou saw lots of colorful paper, pens, and glitter on the table. Can I make some holiday cards, too? That's a great idea, Caillou. Who are you going to make your cards for? Hmm, Leo, Clementine, and... <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Mommy put a few cards, crayons, and glitter in a basket for Caillou. He was so excited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou wanted to make some special holiday cards for his friends. He added lots of glitter to his cards. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm making holiday cards for all my friends. What a great idea. Can I see? Caillou was so proud of the cards that he'd made, he showed Daddy the drawings he had done for Leo and Clementine. I just need to add some more glitter and they will be all done. That'll make them even more festive, as the glitter will glisten just like snow. If you leave the glue to dry now, you can give them their cards tomorrow on your play date. Caillou was excited to give his cards to his friends, so he left them by the window to dry. 
The next morning, Caillou ran to the kitchen with his bag packed, ready to see his friends and spread the holiday cheer. Caillou, it's time to eat your breakfast. Where are you off to, Caillou? Daddy is taking me to Leo's house so I can play with him and Clementine. Did you finish your holiday cards? Yes, here they are. Wow, sparkles. That's nice, Caillou. But it looks like you have more than two there. Caillou giggled. He had made some more holiday cards for three extra special people. Let's go, Caillou. You don't want to be late to meet your friends. Caillou was having a great time with Leo and Clementine playing trucks. <laughs> what are your presents going to be, Caillou? I really want a scooter and... and a new soccer ball. What do you want? I think my mommy is getting me a new fire truck. Oh, oh, I'm asking for a new scooter too, Caillou. If we both get them, we can race. Well, mine is going to be the fastest. Caillou remembered he had a special surprise for Leo and Clementine. Wait here, I've got something for you. What's that, Caillou? Happy Holidays! Thanks, Caillou. I love holiday cards. Thank you, Caillou. Wow, did you make these? Clementine and Leo noticed Caillou had more cards in his hand. Have you given all your cards out yet? Not all of them. A few more left. Who are they for? Caillou had a special holiday surprise for his family. What do you have there, Caillou? Happy Holidays! What a lovely surprise! Caillou had made some holiday cards for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Snowman! Wow, so this is what the extra cards were for. I can't believe you made these all by yourself. Caillou was really getting into the holiday spirit, and he couldn't wait to spend it with his family. You ready for your first fancy New Year's Eve party, Caillou? Why, yes, sir! <laughs> Go on, Caillou. Have fun. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Caillou. Can you believe they have a fountain inside? Wow! My mom gave us pennies to make wishes. <gasps> I gotta think of a good wish. I wish for my very own treehouse. <laughs> I wish to make a world record for the biggest bubble gum bubble ever made in the whole world. I wish... I... Um, I wish for... I wish we could all stay awake till midnight to see the fireworks. That's a good one, Caillou. I don't know. Midnight is really far away. Come on, Leo. We can do it. If we work together, we can do it. Go Team Fireworks! Hmm. I know. Dancing. Dancing will keep us awake. <laughs> I don't think my plan...
plan worked. I'm more tired now than when we started. You know what always gives me too much energy? What? What? It tastes delicious. My mom doesn't let me have it unless I eat my veggies. And there's a whole table of it right over there. Dessert! But my daddy says we're not supposed to have sugar so late. <gasps> it's a special occasion. <laughs> We're about to count down. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve, and Caillou was dreaming of all the wonderful toys he'd be getting on Christmas Day. put on his winter clothes and rushed outside into the snow. That's exactly why I'm here, but I've run into a little bit of a problem. Poor old Rudolph here forgot to bring his scarf and has caught a cold. Without Rudolph's nose, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, at this rate, no one will get their Christmas presents. That's awful. Here, Rudolph, you can have my scarf. Grandma knitted it for me so it's nice and warm. <laughs> hey, that tickles. I think I've had an idea. Maybe you and Gilbert could help me deliver the presents. Really? That would be amazing. 
Great! Give me a moment. I've got just the thing. Here you go, Gilbert. Now you can light the way for us. Okay, Caillou, hop on board. We've got some presents to deliver. This is going to be great. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Merry Christmas! You make a great reindeer, Gilbert. With you showing us the way, we'll have the presents delivered in no time. <gasps> We're so high up! Okay, Caillou. Time to deliver the first present. I'll show you. Take my hand, Caillou. Ready? Ready! Ho, ho, ho! Yeah. Wow, that was magic! Christmas magic! Thanks for helping me deliver all the presents, Caillou. I couldn't have done it without you and Gilbert. That was the best Christmas Eve ever! Rudolph says he's feeling much better after wearing your nice warm scarf. Merry Christmas, Caillou! Merry Christmas, Gilbert. Ho, ho, ho! See you next year! Merry Christmas, Santa! <sighs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Caillou! Mommy, Daddy, you'll never guess what Gilbert and I did last night! We went on a sleigh ride with Santa! That sounds like an exciting Christmas dream, Caillou. It wasn't a dream. It was real. I'm sure it was, Caillou. Let's go downstairs and see all the presents Santa brought you. Presents! presents until Mommy and Daddy wake up. <gasps> Mommy, present! <gasps> I forgot Mommy's Christmas present! 
You know, my favorite gifts are ones with a personal touch. <laughs> Your mommy won't mind if what you give her isn't perfect. She'll just be happy knowing it's from you. Santa? What are you doing here? Oh, delivering presents is lots of fun, but making them is even better. Oh, yeah. I could make her a present. I didn't really want to give Teddy away. Sorry, Teddy. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely perfect, Caillou. I'm not sure. Oh, it's missing glitter. <laughs> uh, let's have some breakfast while we wait for Caillou to wake up. Breakfast. <laughs> hmm. We've got to find some glitter. Come on, Santa. <laughs> now, where would the glitter be? Aha! <laughs> there! Remember, Santa, be very quiet. Santa, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Santa, come on! Whoa! Jangling jingle bells! Oh. Ah, that must be Caillou now. Oh! <gasps> oh. Nope, just Gilbert in a glittery mess. <laughs> Oh, that was close. Oh. Santa, I thought you were good at sneaking. You deliver presents every year without being seen. Sure, but everyone's sleeping. Oh, <laughs> oh it's marvelous. <laughs> Elf-tastic. Hmm. Oh, it needs a frame. A frame, of course. How delightful. <laughs> Here we go again. Hmm. <sighs> There's got to be a frame here somewhere. Oh, I know. <gasps> wait, Santa, be <gasps> wait. Oh, you're up. Come and have some special Christmas <gasps> breakfast. <laughs> How about some waffles, Caillou? Huh? Oh, no! <gasps> Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> That's okay. This sweater wasn't very Christmassy anyway. Oh, if I were a frame, where would I be? Oh! Oh! <laughs> mm. oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Yay! Okay, who wants to give the first present? <gasps> oh, me! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mommy! Oh, thoughtful, Caillou. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to a big department store to buy Christmas presents for his best friends, Sarah, Clementine, and Leo. Wow! Look at 
all the Christmas decorations, Mommy. I know. They're very beautiful. A Christmas tree! That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Can we get one like that? <laughs> I don't think it would fit in our house, Caillou. Oh, look, Caillou. Maybe we can visit Santa's village after we finish shopping. Is Santa going to be there? Of course he will. We should get your friend's presents first, though. We don't want the shops to close. Caillou was leading the way through the shops when he spotted a little gap in between some clothes. He wondered if it led to a cave. Hmm. I wonder where Caillou could be. I don't know. I was sure he was here a minute ago. Here I am! Oh, there you are. <laughs> where did you find such a great hat, Caillou? It was in here. Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. He thought that the hat was very funny. Hey, look, a bookstore. Maybe we'll find a good present for your friends in there. Inside the bookstore, <laughs> Caillou could see lots and lots of books. He wondered how long it would take to read them all. Wow, there must be a jillion, zillion books in here. Hi, can I help you find something? I'm looking for Christmas presents for my friends. Well, that's very nice. Do any of your friends like reading? Yes, Clementine loves reading and looking at pictures. Wow, she sounds very clever. Well, I think I've got the perfect book for your friend Clementine. This is a book with very special pictures inside. Here, let me show you. <gasps> wow, a real life pirate. Cool, huh? His name is Steve. Steve? That's a funny name for a pirate. Say hello, Steve. Ahoy there! Look, Mommy, he's waving at me. So he is. So what do you think, Caillou? Would this be a good present for Clementine? It's perfect. Clementine loves pirates. In the sports section, Caillou looked at all different types of balls for sale. He wondered what games each one was used for. What's that ball for, Daddy? This one is used to play basketball. The players bounce the ball up and down, like this. Here, you try. Caillou tried to bounce the ball like Daddy showed him, but it was harder than it looked. Try with two hands, Caillou. It's easier to learn that way. Wow, it's really bouncy. What about that little one there? This one is a baseball. It's quite hard to catch, so the players wear a special glove to help them. Ready, Caillou? Catch! I did it! Did you see? Yes, that was a great catch, Caillou. Do any of your friends like baseball? No, I don't think so. Look what I've found, Caillou. Caillou knew what this ball was used for. A soccer ball! This will be a perfect present for Sarah. She's the best soccer player I know. Hello, shoppers. The department store will be closing in 10 minutes. Ready to visit Santa's village, Caillou? Wait! We still need to find a present for Leo. I don't think Leo's family celebrates Christmas, Caillou. They celebrate a different holiday called Hanukkah. Caillou hadn't heard of Hanukkah before, but he knew that Leo liked presents, and he didn't want to leave him out. Hanukkah? Hmm. I should go and ask Santa. He'll know what to do. Caillou was very excited, but also a little nervous. He'd never seen Santa before. Look! It's Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! What's your name, little boy? I'm Caillou. It's nice to meet you, Caillou. Why don't you come over here and sit with me? So, what would you like for Christmas, Caillou? Actually, I'm here because I'm shopping for Christmas presents to give to my friends. I got a pop-up pirate book for Clementine because she loves reading and pirates, and a soccer ball for Sarah. She's the best soccer player ever. 
Well, Sarah and Clementine sound very lucky to have a good friend like you, Caillou. I wanted to get my friend Leo a present too, but Mommy says his family celebrates Hanukkah. Can I still get him a present? <laughs> of course you can. People give each other presents for Hanukkah just like they do at Christmas. Caillou was happy to hear he could still get Leo a present, but he suddenly remembered what the announcer had said. Oh no! The man said the shops are about to close! Don't worry. I think I've got the perfect present for you and your friend Leo right here. Hey! I've seen that funny hat before! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. Santa had two of the same funny hats he had found in the clothes store. Thank you, Santa! My pleasure, Caillou, and Merry Christmas! Caillou was so happy that he was able to meet Santa, and he couldn't wait to see his best friends play with the presents he had chosen. It was the end of a busy day, and Caillou wanted a bedtime story. <gasps> Daddy, would you read to me? All right, Caillou. Scooch over. This is the story of a time-traveling global adventurer. In the plains of Africa, wild animals roam. You never know what you'll find. <gasps> Did you feel that, Caillou? Oh, no! Hop in, Caillou. Phew! I made it! That was a close one, Caillou. In the great ice sheets of the Arctic, extraordinary sights are never far away. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Caillou. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Let's see what else we can find. Looks like you've made friends there, Caillou. <laughs> and in the great pyramids of ancient Egypt, you never know what friends you could make. <laughs> wow, Caillou, you look just like a real ancient pharaoh. And on the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, Paris, a city of history, food, and art. Mm. Bonjour, Caillou. Very good. Mm. What do you say we go and see the real thing? Sure, Caillou. Let's go. Oh. 
Quite a view, huh, Caillou? <sighs> That's enough excitement for one night. Time for bed. Have you played Dig and Build 2 yet? Not yet. There's a new one? What is it? Yeah, in this one, you dig up dinosaur bones. Then you have to put the bones together to make a dinosaur skeleton. It's awesome. My mommy's taking me to get it this afternoon with my allowance. I can't wait. Mine too. Maybe we can go together. Caillou? Uh, I don't think I can. I don't have any money. Well, you better hurry, Caillou, or the store will run out. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Daddy? I need some money to buy a game. <laughs> well, Caillou, you know money doesn't grow on trees. You'll have to earn your extra money. What do you mean? Well, we'll give you an allowance to spend on whatever you like. <laughs> in exchange for you helping around the house doing some chores. That's called earning. Okay, what do I have to do? Let me think. Okay, Caillou, let's see how much you've earned this week. <gasps> is it enough? Is it? Yes, Caillou, well done. We're very proud of all the work you did. Yes! Dig and build! Let's go, let's go! Quick, Mommy! Or they'll all be gone! <laughs> all right! All right! Here! We got the last one! You'd better buy it quick then, Caillou. It. 
It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut! No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clown costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou <laughs> was happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> Ha
catch the car, Teddy. Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. Can I play? Okay. He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No, that's my t-shirt. Take it off. It's mine. <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! Oh. <laughs> See, it's not too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy. Good idea, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> Teddy's happy. Me too. Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou and his family were enjoying a spaghetti dinner. Yum! Spaghetti is my favorite! That's good, Caillou. Please try not to slurp when you eat. It was very hard to eat the spaghetti without slurping. While Caillou is trying not to slurp, he made a strange noise. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I stop them? Hiccups usually go away on their own. Caillou waited a moment to see if his hiccups disappeared. Hey, I waited. But they didn't go away. You have to wait longer than that. 
Why not play in the living room? Caillou built a tower of blocks while he waited for his hiccups to go away. But one was so big it made him knock over his tower. How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything! I need them to go away! Sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a scare. A scare? Just a little scare. It makes the person gasp and the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? Caillou thought about this for a moment. He didn't like to be scared, but he didn't like having hiccups even more. If it'll make the hiccups go away, then okay. <gasps> Mommy spread her arms out and floated like a ghost and then jumped at Caillou. Boo! <gasps> hey, it worked! It's not working. I don't think my hiccups are the kind that get scared away. Good thing I'm here then. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I will try anything. Daddy turns on the water. Caillou tried to drink from the hose, but most of it sprayed all around. It's not working! Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside-down solution always works. Daddy made Caillou do a handstand so he was upside down. Daddy held Caillou's feet for balance. Hiccups all gone? There's one more thing we can try. Let's go back inside. Everyone gathered in the playroom to find out Daddy's final cure. I've saved the best for last. This is sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? <gasps> you hop from your left foot and rub your head with your right hand, like this. Caillou thought Daddy looked silly hopping around, and so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's it, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. Hop, Caillou. Hop. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever. Maybe I'll have to stop making spaghetti dinners. <gasps> but spaghetti's my favorite. And Rosie's! And Daddy's, too! It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And I think they're gone. Listen! Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. No, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But... Are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello, I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou <gasps> thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. There, our castle is finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Wow! This place is huge! Hello, Queen Clem! Hello, 
Well, King Caillou, shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay. Wow! We're so high up! From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's so beautiful! This is the best kingdom ever! Let's go and sit on our thrones! As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey! You can't sit there! Only a king or queen can sit on the throne! Me queen! Me queen! Oh! <laughs> it's you, Rosie! Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There. Pretty. Oh, no. The castle is under attack. It's a giant. Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen. It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. Today, Caillou and Rosie were in the park practicing riding their bicycles. They were having lots of fun cycling up and down the path together. <laughs> Look, Mommy! No feet! That's very impressive, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Caillou noticed that all his friends were riding their bicycles without training wheels on. Hey! Where are your training wheels? We don't need them anymore. Watch! Come on, Caillou. We're going to go right down the hill. Caillou felt a little silly. He didn't want to be the only one using training wheels. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want my training wheels anymore, Daddy. I want to ride my bicycle like a grown-up. Well, if you think you're ready, I could teach you to ride without them. I'm ready. There you go, Caillou. Caillou was eager to catch up with his friends. He hopped straight on his bicycle and tried to ride it. Wait for me! Careful, Caillou. You haven't ridden without training wheels before. Ouch! Mommy, I fell off! Oh, poor Caillou. Never mind. Let me kiss it better. Mommy kissed Caillou's knee. It made it feel much better. It feels better now, Mommy. You're very brave, Caillou. Let's try again, but let me hold you up this time. You have to learn to balance first. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hold on tight, Caillou. Whoa! It's okay. You're doing great. Don't let go, Daddy! <laughs> I already have, Caillou. Caillou was riding the bike all by himself. I'm doing it! Great job, Caillou! Look! I don't need my training wheels anymore! Wow, Caillou! You're really good at riding your bike. Thanks! Daddy taught me how! Let's go down the hill again! As Caillou rode down the hill, he could feel the wind rushing against his face. It was lots of fun. Wow! That was amazing! I think I went the fastest! No way! I was the fastest! How about we have a race to see who's the fastest? Great idea, Clem! 
Okay guys, the first one to go around that tree and back is the winner of the race. Are you going to race too, Rosie? Zoom, zoom! Okay, is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Three, two, one, go! Caillou and his friends raced off towards the tree, pedaling as fast as they could. But Rosie struggled to keep up on her little tricycle. <laughs> I'm going to win! Rosie, you won the race! Well done, Rosie! Wow! You must have gone really fast, Rosie! I didn't even see you go past me! Caillou knew that Rosie hadn't really won the race properly, but he also knew that she was only little. When you're ready, I'll teach you to ride a grown-up bike just like me! Oh. Caillou was at the beach with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Daddy was going to take him exploring. Ready to explore the rock pools, Caillou? Where did the rock pools come from? They weren't here last time. They were, Caillou. You just couldn't see them because they were hidden under the sea. When the tide goes out, little bits of the sea are left among the rocks, including any sea creatures that were hiding there. Caillou wasn't sure he liked the sound of hidden sea creatures. What if we find something scary, like a big shark? Don't worry, Caillou. There won't be any sharks. Follow me. You promise? I promise, Caillou. But be careful. Some of these rocks might be a little slippery. Have fun, Caillou, and be careful. Rosie and I are going to write a message in the sand to show you when you get back. OK, Mommy. See anything in this one, Caillou? Caillou looked very carefully, but he couldn't see any creatures. No, it's empty. It's okay. Let's keep exploring. What about this one? I saw something. It was a shark. <laughs> I don't think it was a shark, Caillou. Come and take another look. Caillou looked again. It wasn't a shark after all. It's just a little fish. And look, there's another one and another. There's too many to count. The fish will be able to get back to the sea once the tide comes back, won't they? That's right, Caillou. You're a very good explorer. Shall we see what else we can find? Caillou waved goodbye to the fish and went off in search of more creatures. Caillou was taking extra careful steps. He didn't want to slip over and get his shorts wet. Wow! Caillou, come and see this! At the bottom of the pool, Caillou saw something very strange. Daddy, that's not a creature. It's just a flower. But flowers don't grow underwater, do they? It may look a bit like a flower, Caillou, but it's actually a little animal called a sea anemone. An... an... Men an anemone? Anemone. Anemone. You got it. Caillou thought the sea anemone was the strangest thing he'd ever seen. Daddy, help! It's got me! <laughs> Hold still, Caillou. It's not trying to hurt you, see? It's just a friendly sea snail. It felt really slimy. <laughs> Well spotted, Caillou. It's a little crab. Caillou liked how the crab moved from side to side. It was dancing. Look, Daddy, I'm a crab. Crabs can live on the land and in the sea. Want to take a closer look? Yes, please. Careful, Daddy. It's okay, Caillou. I just got to try and avoid his... Claws. 
Does it hurt, Daddy? No, not really. He's only very small. Of all the sea creatures Caillou had seen that day, the crab was his absolute favorite. Well, we better get going, Caillou. The tide will be coming back soon, and we don't want to get wet feet. Goodbye, Mr. Crab! Mommy! Oh, hey, Caillou. So, how were the rock pools? I saw all kinds of sea creatures. My favorite was the crab. Look! That's great, Caillou. Well, Rosie and I were busy, too. Wow! That's your name, Rosie. And that one's my name. I've been teaching Rosie her letters. That's great, Rosie. <laughs> Don't worry, Rosie. Now all the sea creatures I met will be able to read our names, too. No, a crab! <laughs> Caillou loved meeting all of the sea creatures in the rock pools. Learning at the beach was lots of fun. My uncle gave this to me for my birthday. We can do all sorts of practical jokes with this. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Which one should we use first? I'm not sure. Why don't you decide, Caillou? Very funny, boys. <laughs> oh, hi, Leo. Hello, Caillou. What are you boys up to? We got you some peanuts, Daddy. Would you like some? For me? That's very nice of you, Caillou. Thank you. Oh, you boys got me. Rosie, Caillou, oh, 
Oh, hi, Leo. Hello. Grandma, would you like some juice? Oh, why, yes, Caillou. I am a little thirsty. Rosie, do you want to help me with the ice cubes? Ice cubes! Ice cubes! Thank you very much, you two. Oh, oh, oh heavens! <laughs> Was this a prank? <laughs> All right, Caillou. Tell us about your weekend. What did you get up to? Well, we were having a barbecue. Mommy and Daddy went to the store and bought all kinds of stuff to cook. Burgers, hot dogs, even the vegetables look tasty. But me and my <laughs> friends needed to work up an appetite. Slip and slide! It's time to eat. What the oh! So fast, Caillou. Before bed. And that's how I spent my weekend. 
I had a lot of food at the barbecue. All over my face. Caillou, dinner's ready. Mm. <gasps> that was awesome! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! I want to learn karate! Hi-ya! Whoppa! <laughs> Settle down, you. You might hurt yourself. Yeah! Whoppa! Yeah! Well, can I, Mommy? Please? I don't see why not. Run! <laughs> you look the part, Caillou. I'm so excited! Well, run along over there to the others. Class is about to start. I'll be right there. <laughs> Now, we're going to start with some basic moves today. Then, we'll try something extra special. <laughs> First up, knee strike. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Mm. Itch. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Great. <laughs> Next up, mm. elbow strike. Itch. Knee. Sun, she, itch, me, sun, she. And now, karate chop. Itch, me, sun, she, itch, me, sun, she. You okay there? Um, I can't do it. So we go from here to here. See? Oh. Hmm. Wow, you got it! Great job! <laughs> now, gather round, kids. I want to show you something. Oh. I'm going to show you how to break a piece of wood in half oh. using only your right hand. Karate chop! Wow! Cool! Oh, can we try? <laughs> well, sure! And this one's for you, Caillou, because even though you struggled at first, you worked so hard, and in the end, you got it. Choose 
the right brush so that the egg doesn't crack. Oh, again. See? This brush is too hard, but this one is nice and soft. Well done, Caillou. Do you like painting eggs, Mommy? I do, Caillou. But you know what I like even more? Hunting for eggs. Hunting for eggs? In the store? <laughs> no, no. In the garden. Why would you search the garden for eggs? We don't have a chicken. <gasps> do we? <laughs> no. But the eggs I'm talking about don't come from birds. They're sweeter than other eggs and very tasty. <gasps> These eggs are made of chocolate. And even better, they're delivered by the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny? Yes, he's going to hop around the garden and hide Easter eggs for you to find. <laughs> the Easter Bunny is going to hide chocolate eggs in our garden? <laughs> yes, Caillou. So, time for bed. You'll need lots of sleep so you're ready for the egg hunt tomorrow. But how does the Easter Bunny get here? <laughs> Where does it keep all the egg? Don't its paws get sore from carrying all the eggs? I think it's time to sleep now, Caillou. Close your eyes, and when you wake up, you can go hunting for eggs. The Easter Bunny won't come while you're awake. Look won't hurt. <gasps> the Easter Bunny. Gilbert, we've got an Easter Bunny to find. Just too quick and a very good hider. We have him cornered now. <gasps> Caillou, what are you doing outside at this time of night? Caillou, you should be in bed. It's very late, and you shouldn't be outside alone. Bye, 
Bye-bye, Easter Bunny. See you again next year. for our first proper camping trip. We'll be sleeping in tents, spending time in nature, <gasps> and roasting marshmallows on the campfire. <laughs> Yay! Yes! <laughs> it's exciting, but we need to be careful and, most importantly, listen to what Ms. Jasmine and I tell you. Ma'am, yes ma'am! When we're in the wild, we need to pay attention. Whoa! Trooper Caillou, <gasps> why is it important we pay attention uh, in the wild? Uh, oh, uh, so we can be safe and have fun? <laughs> That's right. <sighs> now, first things first, <laughs> let's set up our tents. Follow me, troopers. Caillou? I guess I'm just a little scared about sleeping out here. That's okay, Caillou. Camping here is great. We can toss marshmallows around the campfire. Oh, and when it gets dark. That's just it, Clem. I don't like the dark. It's scary. And I don't have my nightlight out here. <laughs> the dark isn't scary. <gasps> it's the best part. When it's nighttime, you can look up and see every single star. Whoa. Every star? <gasps> Clementine? <gasps> What's going on? Are you okay? Mommy! <gasps> oh! It's okay, honey. I got it. <laughs> it's just a ladybug, Clem. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, Mom. I mean, Miss Jasmine. <laughs> That's okay, Clementine. You were scared. I know you don't like bugs. You're scared of ladybugs? Everyone's scared of something, Caillou. Hmm. Like, don't you think?
<laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Let's get some sleep, please. Good night. One, two, three, four. I am kind and so much more. One, One two, two, three, four. four. I am kind and so, so, much, so much, much more. Line up. <laughs> me oh. first. Mm -hmm. No, me. <gasps> <laughs> <clears throat> Do you all remember the kindness challenges? Ma'am! Yes, 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 yes ma'am! Ma <gasps> what do you see on your list? Oh! Huh? Be kind to someone in your community. Very good, Clementine. Mm. <gasps> Look for people being kind to each other. You mm. got it. And the last one? Be kind to ourselves. That's right. And whoever finishes their list gets this badge. Wow! wow. <laughs> now go change the world with kindness. <gasps> I'm gonna finish these challenges in one minute. Well, I'm going to finish them in one second. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming to help. Me hurts. Let's get you to mommy. You did the right thing by helping Rosie. That was very kind of you. <laughs> oh! Be kind to someone in your community. Check! Mm. <laughs> people being kind to each other. I saw lots of people being kind to each other today. Check! Last one. Be kind to yourself. But how do I do that? <laughs> Yum! All my favorite foods all at once. A jammy, skeddy ice cream sandwich. This is a yummy way to be kind to myself. Well, maybe not. <gasps> I love flowers. I can be kind to myself by picking a few. How's it going, Caillou? I'm trying to finish my challenges and get a kindness badge, but I can't figure out this last one. That sounds very frustrating. Yeah, but I took a big breath and watched some silly birds, and I feel better now. <laughs> huh? Why'd you do that? If sitting here and enjoying nature made you feel better, then it was an act of kindness. It was? There are lots of ways to be kind to yourself, like taking deep breaths to calm down when you're frustrated, drawing when you're nervous, or maybe... Oh, asking someone for a hug when I'm sad? Exactly. Thanks, Daddy. You're the best. <laughs> Great job, Caillou. You too, Clementine. All oh. right, time to line up. <laughs> you first. No, you first. No, you. Hmm. 
So, Caillou, <laughs> what kind things did you do this week? <laughs> I helped Rosie when she fell. I saw lots of people being kind to each other in the market. And I was kind to myself in the garden when I was mad. Amazing, Caillou. That means you've earned this. <gasps> You're all kindness experts now. Remember, kids, every kind act makes a difference. Okay, Caillou, let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, race you home. Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? <gasps> Caillou, I'm Dr. Wen. We're just going to take a quick x-ray of your arm, okay? <gasps> well, Caillou, I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better.
<laughs> wow, I feel a lot better now that the cast looks so good. Thank you. I wish I had a cast. <laughs> <laughs> And before we take him home, I have to pack up all of Gerald's food and his favorite toys in my backpack. Oh, and his ball. <laughs> Bye, Mommy. Bye, Caillou. Tell Gerald I say hello. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Are you excited to come home with me today? I've made you a special area in my room by my bed. It's really nice and warm, and we can play all weekend in. Gerald? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? It's time for school. Gerald? It's time to come out. <gasps> oh no! Gerald's gone! Gerald? Gerald! Gerald, come out! Good morning, class. Let's all take our places for the... Oh, <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Gerald's missing! Why don't you take your seat, Caillou, and I'll explain. All right, class. As you've realized already, Gerald isn't here anymore. Where is he? Gerald was a very happy hamster, but he was also very old. So I'm afraid last night, while he was sleeping, he died. Died? Yes, but he had a very long life and loved you all very much. But it was my turn to bring him home. Don't worry, Caillou. You can just take him when he comes back. Well, Leo, I'm sorry. But Gerald won't be coming back. When someone dies, they don't come back. So I'm afraid we won't see Gerald again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. He had a good and happy life. I know. But I'm really going to miss him. Not hungry, Caillou? Not even for some... Ice cream! Ice cream! No thanks. Can I be excused, please? Ah, of course. Mind if I join you? I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. I know he was your friend. But do you know what else I know? That you were his friend. You made him very happy, and neither of you will ever forget that. But I won't get to see him, or play with him, or... I know, but you'll always have the memories you shared. And good memories like those, well, they last forever. <laughs> I think Gilbert's saying he'll play with you if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Gilbert. Today, class, you can all draw anything you want, but it has to be something that makes you really happy. I decided to draw Gerald because he was my friend. He's gone now, and we won't see him again which is really sad. So I drew my favorite memory of him. My daddy says memories are forever. 
So now I'll always be able to look at this picture and remember Gerald and feel happy. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> I'm going to swing through the trees just like a monkey. Monkey swing. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> 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 Let's get climbing. This thing around your tummies and legs is called a harness. It's what attaches you to the rope and the tree to stop you from falling. Psst, Billy, I'm gonna climb that big tree over there. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fly from that really huge one. I'll fly faster than you. Will not. Caillou, Clementine, Please pay attention. So, what do you want to do first? Um, why don't we start at that one? That one's for babies, Leo. I know, just for practice. Then we can be super quick on the bigger ones. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me, Billy. I'll do it even faster than Clementine. Be careful, Caillou. I'm right here. That's it. Just take it one step at a time. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Leo. Now let's go do the bigger ones. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> should go first. Yeah. No. I'll do it. Leo, are you sure? I was scared at the start, but you guys kept cheering me on, and I'm not scared anymore. As long as you're here, I can do anything. Uh -oh. You can do it, Leo! Go, Leo! 
Shot, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to be the best soccer player ever. Just don't forget us when you become a big star. <laughs> Job, Caillou. We'll need some of that for the championship game next week to help us win the trophy. Caillou, you just need to keep trying, and maybe next time she'll score. But I want to win. And you can, Caillou. But the only way to do that is to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's go, Caillou! Yay, Caillou! Championship trophy goes to Greenwood! <laughs> 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 Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. <laughs> it's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? Caillou. Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay. We can get you another one. It's not my ice cream. It's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh, dear. Poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. 
Why? Why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it, but it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Excuse me, can me and my sister ride the donkey? Sure you can. Whoa, this is high up. <laughs> Here, these will keep you safe. Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. <laughs> it was another busy day in the classroom when Mrs. Martin called for the kids to quiet down. She had an announcement to make. All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Okay, now we have an exciting thing happening at school this week. It's the school talent show. The class couldn't wait to get started on practicing their talents. But what was Caillou going to do? When Caillou got home later that day, he searched the house for things to do in the talent show. From skipping <laughs> to singing, he even tried dancing. Caillou was beginning to wonder if he'd ever find a talent for the school talent show. Hmm. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't know what my talent is. I've tried everything. Well, hey, Caillou, what about this? What do I do with this? Well, Caillou, it's a magic wand. You can be a magician in your talent show. Here. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So what magic should I do? You just wait here, Caillou. I'll be right back. Moments later, Daddy was back carrying another box. It was a hard black case, and stamped across it were the words Magic Kit. Wow! Now, Caillou, this used to be my Magic Kit when I was your age. Now, it's yours. 
Use it at the talent show and show everyone what you can do. <laughs> I look like a real magician. You sure do, Caillou. Now, get practicing. Caillou practiced and practiced, and the next day at the talent show, he was ready, but starting to feel nervous. He was up next. Hey, Caillou. It's okay. Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Yeah, Caillou. Just go out there and have fun. Caillou whispered the magic words, tapped the hat with his magic wand, and... Meet Teddy, everybody! <laughs> and now, for my next trick, look what happens to Teddy when I do this! The crowd went wild for Caillou's tricks. He was so proud of himself. <laughs> oh, Caillou, that makes you look really scary. I know. Why don't we each tell some scary stories? Mm. <laughs> We're not afraid! Once upon a time, there were two girls who were riding their bikes through a spooky wood. It began to get dark, and they could hear owls hooting in the trees above them. They began to feel really, really Suddenly, the chain came off their bikes and they got stuck. They were so scared and shaking that they couldn't pull the chains back on. We're never going to get out of here! <gasps> then they heard a strange noise somewhere in the woods behind them. They slowly turned around and there, in front of them, was a ghost! Ghost! The two girls were frozen to the spot. The ghost began to come closer and closer. Go away! The ghost floated right through them and over to the bicycles. Hey, get away from our bikes! All of a sudden, the ghost vanished, and the girls saw that the chains on their bicycles had been magically fixed. Ooh. Ooh. Clementine, that wasn't scary. It sounds like a friendly ghost. Leo? Uh, I'm not scared. I was pretending. I'll tell you a really scary story. Once upon a time, there was a boy who lived on a farm with his daddy. They built a scarecrow to frighten the birds away from eating their vegetables. That night, there was a storm that woke the boy up. He looked out his bedroom window and saw the scarecrow standing in the vegetable patch. Daddy! Daddy! The scarecrow is moving! Don't be silly. Scarecrows can't move. But Daddy let the boy sleep in his room because he was scared. And soon he fell 
fell fast asleep. In the morning, they looked out the window, but the scarecrow had vanished. So, had the scarecrow really come to life? Maybe his hat just blew there? I know you're not asleep yet. I can hear you talking. Daddy, it's you! I've brought you all some hot chocolate and cookies. It's very cozy <laughs> in here. What have you all been talking about all this time? We were telling each other really scary stories. But we're not scared. No, we're not scared at all. Daddy, would you like to sleep in the den, too, tonight? I don't think I'd fit, Caillou, but why don't I sleep on the couch and keep watch in case any scarecrows come? That would be great, Daddy. Then you don't have to miss out on all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite. Caillou, come on. You're going to miss it. Oops, sorry, I'm coming. Goodbye. Wow, this room is even bigger. It's like we're fish underwater. <laughs> it's starting. What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow. They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. <laughs> Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? Thanks for the help! Look at all this treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou? Oh, uh, okay. Caillou loved finding the buried treasure, but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish. 
but he loved being a starfish even more. Today was one of Caillou's favorite days of the year, Valentine's Day. But he was nowhere to be found. Leo? Here! Clementine? Here! Caillou? Caillou! Happy Valentine's Day! Caillou had been chosen to be the class Cupid and deliver all of the Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> oh, hello, Cupid! My, don't you look great! My mom made me this costume to wear when I deliver all the cards! How lovely! Class, who wants to make Valentine's cards for Cupid to deliver? Me! 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 me, me. me. Everyone was having lots of fun decorating cards. They drew beautiful flowers, stuck heart-shaped pieces of paper to them, and covered them in shiny glitter. But Caillou was getting impatient. He just wanted to deliver them all now. Is everyone done yet? <laughs> Almost, Cupid. Don't worry. Now, you hold on to these, Caillou. You can deliver them after lunch. After lunch? Caillou ate his lunch as fast as he could. He was so excited to be Cupid. Finally! All right, everyone. Tidy your lunch boxes away, please. Careful, Caillou. There's no rush. Caillou just wanted to deliver the Valentine's cards as fast as he could. He thought waiting was very boring. It was finally time to give everyone their cards, and Caillou could hardly <laughs> contain himself. Caillou felt just like the real Cupid. Everyone loved their cards. And this one is for Sarah! Thanks, Caillou. Caillou had had a lot of fun being Cupid for the day and giving everyone their cards, but he felt a little sad. There were no cards for him. What's wrong, Caillou? Everyone got Valentine's Day cards except me. Oh no, that's a shame. But did you enjoy being Cupid and celebrating this special day? Yeah, everyone really liked my Cupid costume. Oh, I'm sure they did. The important thing is that you all had fun. I guess. Caillou was still a bit sad that he hadn't received a Valentine's card, but the day wasn't over yet. This one is for you, Caillou. For me? <laughs> it must have gotten delivered here instead of at school. Look, Mommy, it's from Isabel. Caillou had enjoyed being Cupid for Valentine's Day and delivering the cards to everyone, but he really enjoyed receiving one, too. Caillou was very worried because he had lost his favorite toy car. He looked under the couch, on top of the coffee table, and even behind the TV. What are you looking for, Caillou? I'm looking for my toy car, but I can't find it anywhere. Hey, you found our old camera. Oh no, did I break it? No, Caillou, it's meant to do that. It's all dark. Just watch. Caillou watched as the photo changed. It wasn't dark after all. It was a picture of himself. Wow, like magic. Can we take some more pictures, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. How about 
You take some pictures of things with different colors. I can do that. Let's start with something red. Caillou looked around the room and saw his red fire truck sitting on the carpet. There! My fire truck is red! Perfect! You can look through that little hole to see what your picture will look like. Caillou could see his red fire truck through the hole in the camera. I did it, Mommy! Look! It's my red fire truck! Great job, Caillou! How about we try something green next? Hmm, green. There's lots of green things in the garden. In the garden, Caillou could see all kinds of green things. Look, Caillou. Why don't you take a picture of this green grasshopper? Caillou tried to take a picture of the grasshopper, but it jumped away into the grass when he got close. Hey! Come back! You have to move slowly, Caillou. The grasshopper won't stay still otherwise. Mommy, I was really slow and quiet. <laughs> wow! Look at all its legs! Great job again, Caillou. Do you think you could find something blue to take a picture of? Something blue. Oh, I know! Rosie's dress is blue. I could take a picture of Rosie. Caillou found Rosie in the living room with Daddy. She was playing with his toy car. Hey, Rosie! You found my toy car! Vroom, vroom! Smile, Rosie! I've got to take your picture! Look, Rosie! Magic! Is that our old camera, Caillou? Yes. Mommy and me have been taking pictures of colors. That sounds fun. How about we take a picture of all of us sitting on the couch? But who will take the picture? It has a special timer. We can set it up on the table, and it will take the picture after a few seconds. Here, let me show you. Okay, everyone on the couch, quick! Say cheese, everyone! Cheese! Caillou had loved taking pictures with the camera, but looking at them magically appear was his favorite part. Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup! Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy, a slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See, rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool, but now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got 
too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming. Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself. You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou. Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well... I guess I could have another try. Great. And don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, Three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant! Great choice, Caillou! Where is it, Mommy? Shh. Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. Caillou liked the elephant. <laughs> he especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Say cheese! Ah! 
help! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> War! <laughs> I did it! Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister, Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. Caillou was playing in the park with Leo. They were having so much fun kicking the ball together. Great shot, Leo! Yay! It suddenly started to rain. But Caillou and Leo loved the rain. They began jumping in the puddles. Mommy, look! <laughs> That's some impressive jumping, kids. Mommy saw how messy Caillou had gotten. But you're covered in mud from all the splashing in the puddles. It's time to go home and take a bath. But I want to play some more. You can play in the bathtub, Caillou. Now say goodbye to Leo. Bye, Leo. See you soon. See you later. Caillou wasn't very happy. He wanted to play soccer with Leo. What's wrong, Caillou? I don't want to take a bath. But you've been playing in the mud. It's important to stay clean. But baths are no fun. They're so boring. Well, this one won't be boring. I'll be sure to add lots of bubbles to your bath. And you can play with Ducky, too. Caillou started to feel better. Maybe taking a bath wouldn't be so boring after all. Mommy turned the water on in the tub. She put in some bubble bath. It smelled sweet, like apples. Look at all those bubbles, Mommy! <laughs> Are you ready to get into the bath now? Yes! Caillou wanted to play in the bathtub. He grabbed his tugboat and his ducky. When Caillou was in the bath, he loved playing with all the bubbles around him. Caillou was enjoying his bath time. He loved splashing in the water and blowing the bubbles. <gasps> What are you going to play in the bath? I'm going to play captain of the sea. Ducky is the captain, and this is his boat. Where is Captain Ducky off to then, Caillou? He's going on an adventure, but some of these bubbles are going to be a bit tricky to get through. 
Caillou piled Bubbles on Ducky's head and put it on the tugboat. He leaned back to let the bubbles cover his shoulders. Right, let's get cleaned up now. Mommy carefully cleaned Caillou's face and ears. Caillou thought it tickled. <laughs> Do you want to wash your hands and feet? Mommy gently washed Caillou's feet using his soccer ball sponge. <laughs> Mommy poured water all over Caillou's back. He loved how warm the water felt. When Caillou was all clean, he got out of the tub. Mommy dried him with a big, soft towel. You smell nice and clean now, Caillou. Caillou smiled and hugged Mommy. Mommy helped Caillou put on his pajamas. Time for bed now, Caillou. Mommy, can you read me a bedtime story? Of course I can. Caillou chose his big book about animals. Look, Caillou, a duck. It's just like the one you had with you in the bath. Captain Duck! <laughs> yes, Captain Duck. Caillou couldn't wait to play in the mud again so he could take another lovely warm bath. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Bah! 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 <laughs> That's right! Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small. Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet. Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. Yay! <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. <laughs> Ca 
why you liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, Caillou! Excellent job! You're a great farmer! Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful! I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. 
Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy. Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy. See you soon. Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight, he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. It's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah. Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Caillou had to get up early today to go somewhere very special. Wake up, Caillou. It's time to go on an amazing adventure. What kind of adventure, Daddy? It's a surprise. What kind of surprise? 
I can't give away the surprise, Caillou, but it's going to be splashing. Splashing? Caillou heard Grandpa arriving downstairs and couldn't wait to give him a big hug. Grandpa, why are you wearing that funny hat? It's my very special lucky hat, Caillou. Whenever I wear it, it brings me good luck. What makes it lucky? Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see, Caillou. Caillou had no idea what Grandpa's silly hat was for, but he couldn't wait to find out. Are those fish? Wow! We're going fishing! And you can't go fishing without your very own lucky hat. Caillou was so excited, he felt like a real fisherman. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, hold on now. First, we'll need to buy some food for the fish. Caillou and Grandpa went into a store by the lake called a bait store. It was full of worms and insects. You can buy bugs, Grandpa? Fish love to eat bugs. They go on the fishing line and the fish will swim right over to us. Daddy came back with a bucket full of wiggly worms. Caillou was very surprised. Ew! Worms? Fish love to eat earthworms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> the fishermen waited patiently to catch some fish. But Caillou had a hard time staying awake. It was still very early in the morning. When are the fish going to come and eat? Aren't they hungry? Shh, we have to be very quiet. If we make any noise, we'll scare the fish away. Caillou tried his best to be quiet. He heard water flowing and the whir of a fishing reel from the fisherman next to them. Look over there! That man caught a fish! Why did he throw the fish back in the water, Daddy? That fish was too small. It wasn't ready to be caught yet. He threw it back so it can grow bigger first. Caillou was getting tired of waiting and having to stay still. Why haven't we caught anything yet, Daddy? Where are all the fish? When you go fishing, you have to be very patient, like Grandpa. He has a lot of experience. Caillou and Daddy looked at Grandpa. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a break, too? Daddy and Caillou went to see the fishing boats. The fishermen were unloading big crates of fish. What are the fishermen going to do with all those fish? They'll sell them to the grocery store, then people buy them to eat. Caillou really wanted to take a fish home. If we catch a fish, we could have it for dinner. Can we try again? Sure we can, Caillou. Caillou was very determined to catch a fish now. He stayed as still as he could and waited very patiently. You're doing a great job, Caillou. Shh, Daddy. You'll scare the fish away. Suddenly, Caillou felt a tug on his fishing line. Daddy, uh, I've got one. <laughs> Quick, reel it in, reel it in. Caillou reeled in his line. There was a little fish wriggling on the hook, but it fell back into the water. Oh no, but I waited and waited. Don't worry, Caillou. You'll have better luck next time. You just have to keep practicing. Caillou was happy that he had gone fishing, even if he hadn't caught anything to bring home. All this fresh air has made me hungry. But we still didn't catch anything. Grandpa had an idea. I know where there are always lots of fish. There's my little fisherman. Wow, that's such a big fish, Caillou. Well done. Where did you catch it? Caillou <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> we caught it at the fish store. <laughs> 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 
Caillou and his family were on their way to pick up a pumpkin for Thanksgiving. Caillou was very excited. He loved pumpkin pie. I can't wait to choose a pumpkin. I'm going to pick the biggest one. Pumpkin! Well, we'll have to see what they have. Let's go! How do you know which pumpkin is the best, Daddy? Well, the more orange the pumpkin, the better the taste of the pie. Okay, I'm gonna look for the biggest and most orange pumpkin. After looking very hard, Caillou was able to find the best looking pumpkin in the patch. Did you find one yet, Caillou? Look, Daddy! This pumpkin is perfect! Well done, Caillou! Rosie found one, too. They'll make the tastiest pumpkin pies. Pumpkin! After everyone had picked out their pumpkin, it was time to go home and start cooking their Thanksgiving dinner. Can I carry my pumpkin, please? It's very heavy, Caillou. Are you sure you'll be able to? It's okay. I can do it. My pumpkin! <laughs> While Mommy was cooking dinner, Caillou tried to cheer himself up by drawing turkeys, but it wasn't working. Everything okay, Caillou? I'm really sad about my pumpkin. It was the biggest and most orange one ever, and now it's ruined. Cheer up, Caillou. Why don't you come and help us fill the cornucopia? Cornucopia? What is that, Daddy? It's a big horn that we fill up at Thanksgiving to show all the food that we have to be thankful for. Oh, okay. Caillou went to help Daddy and Rosie fill the cornucopia, but he was still very upset about his pumpkin. Caillou was enjoying putting little pumpkins inside the cornucopia, but they reminded him of his pumpkin. I really miss my pumpkin. Mine was so much bigger and more orange than these. We'll get you another pumpkin next year. But I don't want to wait till next Thanksgiving. Is everyone ready for dinner? I guess so. The Thanksgiving feast looked absolutely delicious and everybody enjoyed it. But Caillou was still sad. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving, Rosie? Gilbert! What about you, Caillou? I don't know, Mommy. What about all this great food? Well, it sure was yummy. What about your toys? I do have some pretty cool toys. As Caillou remembered all of the great things he had, he felt less and less upset about his pumpkin. I'm thankful for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie, too! And what about delicious pumpkin pie? Me and Rosie made this from her pumpkin. She wanted to make sure you still had some pie this year. Thanks, Mommy! Thanks, Rosie! I'm very thankful for pie. Pumpkin! Caillou was thrilled that he still got some delicious pumpkin pie, even if it wasn't from his own pumpkin. I just love Thanksgiving! <laughs> My mom taught me how to make it. <laughs> oh, quite a plain, Leo. Do you want to go first for show and tell this morning? Oh. I'll go first. <sighs> Wonderful. Remember to use the How Am I Feeling board when you tell us all about your weekend. <laughs>
<gasps> this weekend was my grandma's birthday, and I felt... <sighs> well, I felt a lot of feelings, Mrs. Martin. Why don't we take them one by one? <laughs> First, I felt confused because I had to pick a cake. But there were so many to choose from. <laughs> Caillou, <gasps> which one would Grandma like? Red is Grandma's favorite color. <laughs> <gasps> How did that make you feel, Caillou? <gasps> Proud! I was in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love being the boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jason. What was next, Caillou? <clears throat> um, we had to pick a gift for Grandma. I was a bit... nervous, because I had to really think about what Grandma would like. We went to a store, but it only had grown-up things. No toys anywhere. Ugh. What about these, Daddy? Oh, those are... <laughs> Special, Caillou. But do you think Grandma would like them? Ooh. Ew! Bugs are scary. Oh! oh. Ah. It made me feel sad. But I tried to look for something better. Perfect. <laughs> grandma will love it. Mm, oh, no! That was for my grandma! Oh, well, hang on, Caillou. This lady got it first. But roses are grandma's favorite flower. <gasps> I felt disappointed when I couldn't get grandma the sweater. But then extra happy when the lady let me buy it. She sounds like a kind lady. She was, but later, I felt really not happy because Mommy made me wear an itchy sweater that Grandma made for my birthday. Itchy sweaters are worse than books. Yup, I felt a bit grumpy. <laughs> but Grandma was really happy I wore it. Oh, Caillou, the sweater I made you. <laughs> oh. That must have made you feel very <laughs> worried. Oh. I'm sorry, Grandma. I ruined your birthday cake, and I ruined your birthday, and I ruined... You did no such thing, Caillou. In fact, you brought me the most thoughtful gift. But... What is it, Caillou? Uh, I don't like the sweater you gave me. I like it because you gave it to me, but it's so... itchy. I'm sorry. Oh, Caillou. I'm so glad you're telling me. Really? Why, yes. It was so kind of you to wear it, even though you didn't like it because you knew it would make me happy. But it's okay to wear something you like better instead. Mm. And as for the cake, my favorite gift is spending time with you, Caillou. So maybe we can bake another together? I felt a lot of things on Grandma's birthday, but... I learned that when others were kind, it made me feel happy. And even when I was confused about feelings, I could choose to be kind, and that made everything okay. <laughs> we're ready for the fair, Mommy. I want to ride the whirly chairs. They make you so dizzy. 
busy. There. <gasps> oh, I don't think we'll be able to go today. <clears throat> Mommy's not feeling very well. But, uh, but, no fair? I'm sorry, you two. Are you sure you can't take us, Daddy? I'm sorry, I have to work. Dr. Caillou's orders. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need bandages, Nurse Rosie. Mm. Huh. Teddy? Teddy will do. <sighs> we need 50, no, 100 Teddy hugs, Rosie. Oh, of course. One tickle hug, two tickle hug, three tickle hug, four, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Oh, I'm up. Great work, Rosie and Teddy. Now, Mommy, you rest, and I'll talk with Nurse Rosie in the hall. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. No, we need to call an A. 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 B. C. We need some help. Who can we get to help? Daddy! <gasps> nurse Daddy! Come in, Nurse Daddy! Go bright yellow! Go bright yellow! Over! Sorry, Caillou. Daddy's working. But me and Nurse Rosie need you. And Mommy! And hmm. Mommy, over. <laughs> Nurse Daddy will be right there. Uh, huh? What? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh huh? Oh, just as I thought. What is it, Nurse Daddy? Mommy has a serious case of the sniffle biffles. <gasps> We're going to need tissues. Lots and lots of tissues. I'm sorry we couldn't go to the fair, <gasps> but you two... Oh, the fair! We were having so much fun, we forgot all about it! Oh, well. Maybe we should let Mommy rest. Just one more bit of medicine. One... Love you, Squeeze! Looks like we have another patient, Rosie. 
Uh-oh. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Are you? You should be in bed. I'm... And you definitely should not be watching scary movies like this. You're too young. But it's not too scary. It's No fine. buts, Caillou. Off to bed. We'll talk about this in the morning. Scared. I'm big and I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm up. I'm up. <sighs> Caillou, why aren't you in bed? There was a scary house, and a knight was chasing me, and I couldn't get away, and... You were right. 
I shouldn't have watched that scary movie. I'm really sorry. Get in here, kiddo. Me and Teddy will make you feel better. Okay, settle down, kids. Today, we're going to learn about Vikings. Does anybody know who the Vikings were? Mm -hmm. Um, they wore pointy hats and fur and sailed in boats, I think. Well, yes, they did, Caillou. Very good. <laughs> and today, Caillou, we're going to make our very own Viking helmets that you can take home with you. Yeah! <laughs> the Vikings lived hundreds of years ago. They lived in what we now call Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They traded and traveled all over the world, sailing in longboats they built with their bare hands. Now, they also wore armor and helmets like this one. Today, class, I'd like you to make your own Viking helmet. The materials are on the table. You can decorate them however you like, but remember, they need to make you look strong and tough. Great job, Caillou. That's a really scary one. That's recess, kids. <laughs> uh, I'm bored. What should we play? Let's play Vikings! <laughs> Come in peace. We need shelter against the storm.
Vikings? Please, please, please! please, please. <laughs> wow! Do that, Caillou. You'll break it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's time to explore. Let's go. <laughs> Caillou, we're perfectly safe. Castle! Hmm. Oh, almost, Rosie. That's Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives. A real palace? Oh, can we go, Mommy? Can we? Of course. And through here is Her Majesty's throne room. These were used, of course, as part of the Queen's coronation ceremony. What's a coronation ceremony? Coronation is when a member of the royal family becomes the king or queen. Cool. <gasps> and if you'll follow me through here is the gift shop. Monte rather likes you. He's so cute! Oh yes, and quite the handful. <laughs> Tell me, how did you find your way in here? <gasps> oh no! I was on a tour with my family, but they must have left without me. Oh, not to worry, Caillou. This place is so big, it's quite easy for one to get lost. The next stop on the tour is the gift shop just through there. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Phew. Thank you. Bye, Monty. There you are, Caillou. I was on my way to find you. Sorry, Mommy. I got a bit lost, but a nice lady and her dog helped me. She sounds very kind. Looks just like Monty the dog. Can we get it? Sure, Caillou. Hey! That's the lady that helped me. I 
I'm so excited to see the Dinosaur Museum! <sighs> okay, class. When we tour the museum, remember to stay with your trip buddy. That way, mm -hmm. no one will get lost. Hey, Clementine! Are you ready to be museum buddies? Yeah, Caillou. I'm just waiting here for my mommy before we go in. But your mommy's there. <laughs> I mean, my other mommy. You must be Caillou. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jasmine, Clementine's mom. I work here at the museum as a dinosaur expert. Clementine, you have two mommies? That's right. We both take care of Clementine, and we both love her very much. Oh, wait. You work with dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, let's pretend to be dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. Are we ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> This is a dinosaur skeleton. Can anyone tell me which of these dinosaurs it belongs to? A Tyrannosaurus? A Brontosaurus? Or a Stegosaurus? Tyrannosaurus? That's right, Caillou. Great job, Caillou. Hi, Rexy. Pleased to meet you. Please don't touch, Caillou. Why not? The dinosaur bones are millions of years old, so they can break very easily. Millions? A very long time ago. Whoa! So, these bones are older than Daddy? <laughs> oh, Caillou, yes. Even older than Daddy. This is how cavemen and women dressed a long time ago. See how they didn't wear t-shirts or shoes? They wore things like animal fur and grass. Wow! is a cast of one of the biggest dinosaur footprints ever found. <gasps> <laughs> Whatever made this footprint must have been huge. <gasps> That's a very creative idea, but it's just make-believe. <sighs> That's Caillou. He has a dinosaur-sized imagination. <laughs> All right, Caillou. I'll be back in a minute. 
Make sure you get nice and clean. Okay, Mommy. Good luck on your mission, Captain Caillou. What's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Caillou. Oh, legend tells of a great explorer by the name <gasps> of Caillou. Really? Oh, yes. It says that he is the one to find the lost treasure and return it to us. Wow. Will you help us, great Caillou? You got it. Let's find that treasure. some time for Captain Caillou to sail the seas. Get your own spaghetti! 
ready. <laughs> hey, what's going on? We're trying to scare the dragon away. Caillou, look at poor Gilbert. He looks really scared. I don't think he understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy. There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. <gasps> oh no! This dragon's even bigger! You brave knights deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy. Another dragon! <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat. Aren't you, Gilbert? likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> <laughs> it was a special day in Caillou's family. It was Rosie's birthday, and all the family were outside enjoying the sunshine and having a party. Mommy, Mommy, please, can I go play in the bounce house now? Okay, Caillou, but be careful. And don't forget to remove your shoes. Take my shoes off. Better do as we're told, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou had a great time in the bounce house. But the other kids started to get too rough. <laughs> Safely back on solid ground, Caillou looked around for another mm. game to play. Hey, Caillou. Are you all right? Caillou put on a brave face. After all, there were other activities he could do. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Let's go play pin the tail on the dog! <laughs> Caillou and his friends began to play pin the tail on the donkey. They got very dizzy. <laughs> Leo, that's not where tails go. <laughs> okay, okay. You try, Caillou. Tails go 
either. Hey, look. They're bringing out the cake. All right now, kids, gather round. Rosie, don't forget to make a wish. Rosie made her special birthday wish and blew out her candles all at once. And then... <laughs> How about some presents? Oh, me first, me first. Can I, Mommy? Okay, Caillou, what have you got? Here you go, Rosie. Happy birthday! Rosie couldn't believe her luck. Her very own <gasps> teddy bear. Teddy! Good job, Caillou. What a great gift. One more thing, Rosie. Dear Rosie, happy birthday. Have the best day. Love from your brother, Caillou. Oh, Caillou, that's lovely and so well written. Isn't that nice, Rosie? Hmm. Hey, kids, it's time for the pinata. <laughs> Rosie gets first hit. It was the best birthday Rosie ever had. And Caillou had a pretty good day, too. Hey, Caillou, look what's just arrived. A package. What is it? Is it for me? It's for all of us, Caillou. Come into the kitchen and I'll show you. Okay. Look, a man brought us a package. How exciting. I wonder what it could be. Want to help me open it? I can do that. What is it? It's a pasta making machine. Pasta? Like spaghetti? <laughs> Yes, we can make all kinds of pasta shapes. I know. Why don't we pretend we're running our own Italian restaurant? Yay! Can we invite Grandma and Grandpa? Great idea, Caillou. We can do a pasta and pizza's evening. Grandpa loves pizza. First, the pasta. We need eggs and pasta flour and a pinch of salt. There. Now, Caillou, slowly put the flour into this big bowl. <coughs> Caillou, that's why I said slowly. <laughs> okay, now the eggs. Tap them on the side of the bowl like this and pull the shell apart. Great job, Caillou. Me do, me do. Rosie, you've messed it up. Don't worry, Caillou. Maybe Rosie will be better at helping with the pizza dough. Now, Caillou, mix the eggs into the flour. It can be a bit messy, but that's okay. Now we have to knead our dough. That means move it around, stretch it, and press it until it's smooth. This is hard work. My arms hurt. Why don't we take a rest? We can make a menu if you like. Mommy, Rosie has drawn some spaghetti. 
Well done, Rosie. Let's go and show Daddy. Daddy, look at the menu we made. Wow, that looks amazing. The pictures look good enough to eat. Okay, Caillou, I'll hold the pasta and you can turn the handle. Wow, look, I'm making spaghetti. It looks delicious. Now for the pizzas. Here are the toppings. First, spread the tomato sauce on the pizza. Next, a good sprinkling of cheese. Look, it's snowing cheese. And now the best bit. Make a face. Grandpa, we made a menu. This looks great. I think I'll have pizza and spaghetti. They both look so delicious. Me too. Mm -hmm. Look, everyone. My pizza has got curly hair and a curly beard, too. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou was very excited because today, Daddy was going to help him and Leo build a special project for the science fair. Okay, I think we have everything we need. What are we building, Daddy? A spaceship? Not exactly. We're going to make a volcano. Cool! Volcanoes are awesome. I saw one on TV once. How does it work? I'll show you. Caillou watched as Daddy poured some liquid inside one of the soda bottles. What's that stuff? It's vinegar and red food coloring. We're going to use it to make lava. It doesn't look like lava. No? Well, watch this. Wow! That was amazing! Yeah! Just like real lava! Now we can make a real volcano. First, we need to glue a soda bottle onto the cardboard. Like this? Perfect. Next, we need to add some scrunched up newspaper around it. Caillou and Leo scrunched up the sheets of newspaper, and with Daddy's help, glued them around the bottle. Great job! Now it's time for the messy part. Take a strip of newspaper and dip it in the bowl. Then, lay it on the sides of the volcano like this. Caillou and Leo did what Daddy had showed them, and stuck down all the sticky bits of paper to make the volcano. Great job, guys. We're almost finished. Now we just need to paint it. We can use brown for the mountain, green for the grass. Yeah, and we can use some red around the top for the lava. Making volcanoes is fun. Caillou and Leo had lots of fun with the paints. It looked just like a real volcano. Great job, guys. I can't wait to see it in action tomorrow at the science fair. It was the day of the science fair, and Caillou and Leo were ready to present their volcano. Hello, everyone. I'd like to show you the volcano that Leo and I made. A volcano is kind of like a mountain with a chimney in the middle. When the volcano has too much lava inside, it pops out the top, like this. Caillou had lots of fun making the <laughs> volcano with Daddy and Leo. Ta-da! 
He hoped that maybe one day he could see a real volcano, but maybe from a safer distance next time. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn. Get your cotton candy. Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou wished that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead. Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience <laughs> laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Look out! Caillou, you tricked us. That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou. Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. Today was Leo's birthday, and he had invited Caillou to his birthday party. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to wake up. 
We need to get ready for Leo's party. It's today! Yes, now up you get. I promised Leo's mommy that we'd make Leo a special birthday cake. Mommy had laid out all of the things they needed to make a special cake for Leo. Okay, Caillou, I'll read the recipe and you can put the ingredients in the bowl. Okay. The first thing we need is some sugar and some flour. Caillou found the sugar and the flour and poured them into the bowl. There. What's next? Now we need to add some butter. Oh, there it is. Now we need to add some eggs. I'll help you with those. Eggs can be a little messy if you're not careful. Caillou watched as Mommy took the eggs and gently cracked them into the mixing bowl. Can I try one? Sure. Caillou took the egg and tapped it on the side of the bowl. Hey, it didn't work. Try a little harder, Caillou. Oops, I missed the bowl. That's okay, Caillou. It takes some practice. Caillou watched as Mommy stirred the cake mixture. It looked very tasty. Can I lick the spoon? It looks so yummy. While we wait for the cake to bake, we can go and get you changed into your costume. Caillou and Mommy arrived at the party. Everybody looked very funny in their costumes. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Leo. Happy birthday. Thanks. That's a cool spaceman costume. Thanks. Your night costume is really cool, too. Do you want to give Leo his present, Caillou? Look, Leo. I baked you a cake for your birthday. I decorated it myself. Wow. It looks delicious. Thanks, Caillou. It was time for Leo to blow out his birthday candles. Make a wish, Leo! <sighs> Thanks for the cake, Caillou. It's the best cake I've ever had. <laughs> Caillou was very happy to be at Leo's birthday party. He was especially happy to eat the yummy cake he and Mommy had made. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race. I wish we had a... Oh, wow! A sailboat! 
I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. I'm steering it! That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa! Maybe we will, but remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go! My boat is faster than your boat! No, it isn't! Come on! Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race. You sailed so well. Thanks. You did well, too. Thanks. See you next time. Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story, but today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Mm. Caillou thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. Caillou draws a big round moon, and all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. 
Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? You always look nice, Caillou. Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. When Mommy finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Is this for me? I drew a moon because I love you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. It was a bright sunny day, and Caillou was playing in his backyard. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Caillou heard someone laughing in the yard next door. There was a little girl he didn't know. Hi, my name is Caillou. Do you want to play with me? Hola, my name is Isabel. See, si, Caillou. Isabel used strange words. Caillou didn't understand everything she said. My mommy got me some new marbles. Que? Caillou sat down and rolled his marbles out across the grass. You can be the red marbles, and I will be the blue ones. Rojo. Caillou hadn't heard that word before. He liked how it sounded. Rojo? When the game was over, Isabel pulled a small white toy bunny from her pocket. Caillou was very curious. Wow! Do you want to be my friend? Isabel smiled and nodded to Caillou. She touched his cheek with Bunny. See, si, but first you have to save me from that scary dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's Gilbert! No, it's the scary dragon and the treasure. You'll need a sword like mine. <laughs> Caillou was excited. He knew that together they could defeat any dragon. Charge! What are you doing? Me and Princess Isabel are fighting the dragon! Oh, you have so much imagination, Caillou. This is Princess Isabel. She lives in the red castle next door. Well, it's nice to meet you, Isabel. Now come on, Caillou. It's time for dinner, and I think Gilbert needs a rest. At dinner, Caillou told everyone about his adventure with Princess Isabel. And then the dragon roared! Roar! Roar! 
Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. Isabel had a funny word for the marbles. Rojo! <laughs> no, Caillou. Rojo means red in Spanish. She was telling you what the color of the marble was. Why does she speak Spanish? Because Isabel is from Spain. I met her parents today. They're going back home to Spain tomorrow. Spain? Where is that? Well, this is where we are. And this is where Isabel lives. But that's really far away. I don't want her to go. Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to lose his new friend. Don't worry, Caillou. Just because Isabel is going back to Spain doesn't mean you two can't stay friends. Why don't you give her something to remember you by? That gave Caillou an idea. The next day it was time for Caillou to say goodbye to Isabel. I got you a present, Isabel, so you don't forget me. Rojo! Uh, gracias, Caillou. Bunny will help you beat the dragon. Wow! Adios, Caillou. Adios, Isabel. A few days later, Caillou was finishing off his adventure. But it wasn't as fun without Isabel. I have a special surprise for you on the computer. Caillou was very excited, so he rushed to the computer. But when he got there, the screen was blank. He was very confused. Hola, Caillou! Isabel! Isabel held up the red marble Caillou had given her, and Caillou held up the white bunny she had given to him. He was very happy to see his friend again. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were getting ready for Sarah's birthday party. It was a superhero-themed party, and they were all very excited. What superpowers are you going to have, Caillou? I'm going to be super strong with my power belt and gloves. That's really cool. My special headband means I can see in the dark. What about you, Leo? I have new shoes which make me go super fast. Meow! But we all need capes to be real superheroes. And I'm going to wear this cool mask. Caillou and his friends all made great superheroes. They couldn't wait to show off their powers at the party. Caillou, have you seen my handbag? Wow, don't you all look great! Are you superheroes all ready for Sarah's birthday? Yep, let's go! Hold on, Caillou. Don't you mean Super Caillou? <laughs> yes, sorry, Super Caillou. But first, we need to find my keys. I think they're in my handbag, but they've gone missing somewhere. This sounds like a great job for Caillou and his super friends. Yay! <laughs> what a great idea! The super friends began searching the house for Mommy's handbag. They didn't want to be late to the party, but there was no sign of it anywhere. Have you found any clues? Nothing over here, Super Caillou. <laughs> what was that? Was it a bird? Was it a plane? <laughs> no, it's Gilbert. Gilbert, have you seen Mommy's handbag? Gilbert says it's that way. How do you know that? I can talk to animals, too. Let's go! Caillou opened the cupboard door. It was so dark, he couldn't see anything. I'll handle this with my night vision. Wow! Caillou and Leo were amazed by Clementine's superpowers. Caillou noticed something at the bottom of the cupboard. It was Mommy's handbag. There! Now we can go to the party! Wow! Good job, Super Friends! You found my bag! Yep! Caillou was very proud.
Oh no, my car keys aren't in here. What? We're going to be late! A clue! I know exactly where we should look. Rosie has the keys. We need to get them back. Don't worry, Super Caillou. I'll distract Rosie using my super speed. Leo used his super speed to make Rosie chase him away. She thought he was playing a silly game. You found them! Great job, Super Caillou! It wasn't just me! It was my super friends as well! Caillou loved saving the day with his friends. He couldn't wait to solve another mystery. It was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger. Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket! Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy! Now we look like real Space Rangers! As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie. We have 10 seconds until liftoff. We need to get into the rocket. 10! Wow! 9! Buckle in, Rosie. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. 8! All systems are go! Seven! Blast off! Rosie! We weren't ready! Ah! Whee! Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello! I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! No, Rosie. That's an alien! Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh. We have to get him back, Rosie. Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! I have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship! Rosie! Teddy! 
the alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy. Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar! It's eating a lot of that big leaf, Mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the magnifying glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Wow! A great big jungle monster! Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird! It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves! Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly! The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. I've got you now, butterfly! The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy, Sarah, did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly. That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll 
I'll have a butterfly of my very own. Wow, Caillou, that's so cool. Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool. When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get. Yellow one. I want yellow one. Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie. Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great. Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou. Caillou, come and look at this. It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. Looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there. I'm Jessie. Hi! I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it. Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops! I'm sorry. That's okay. You almost had it. I can help you. 
There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg! <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go! What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Caillou was in the garden, waiting for his friends Leo and Sarah to come over and play. Look who's here, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, Leo! Hi, Sarah! What are those, Leo? These? They're donut seeds. <laughs> donut seeds? How do they work? It's easy. All you have to do is plant them in the ground, and they'll grow into giant donut trees. Caillou hadn't heard of donut trees before. Wow! That's amazing! I can have donuts whenever I want! What happens now? Now we have to water them, of course. What are you doing, Caillou? I need to water the donut seeds so they'll grow into donut trees. Donut seeds? Yeah. Leo gave me these donut seeds. See? Oh, Caillou. I'm afraid your friends might be playing a little April Fool's Day prank on you. What's April Fool's? <laughs> it's a day when friends play tricks on each other for fun. Those donut seeds are just breakfast cereal. <laughs> April Fools! We tricked you, Caillou! Caillou was very disappointed. He was really looking forward to having his own donut tree. I don't like being tricked. It's okay, Caillou. Everyone gets tricked on April Fools Day. Why don't you try and play a trick on somebody? Okay, I guess I could. Caillou found Rosie in the living room, playing with her building blocks. Hey, maybe I can trick Rosie. Look out, Rosie! There's a spider after you! <laughs> Run, Rosie! It's going to get you! What's all the racket? I was playing an April Fool's Day prank on Rosie. Caillou, that wasn't very nice. Rosie is too small to understand that you were tricking her. Caillou felt sad that he'd upset Rosie. He was only trying to play a prank like Leo and Sarah did. Sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to upset you. How about you all go into the kitchen? I think Mommy has made you all some special treats. Who wants a lollipop? I, I do! I do! I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't a lollipop. April Fools! Hey! You tricked us, Mommy! <laughs> Would you like a lollipop too, Rosie? Yay, carrot! 
Monica, you had lots of fun learning about April Fool's Day, and he hoped that maybe his donut seeds would grow into a donut tree after all. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a trip to the theme park. Caillou was so excited. Theme parks were the most fun places in the world. This is going to be the best day ever! It was hard for Caillou to decide which ride he wanted to go on first. So Daddy suggested they try the roller coaster. You need to stand next to this measuring stick, Caillou. Why? We have to check if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Am I tall enough? Yep. Rosie wanted to go on the roller coaster, too, but she was still too little. Don't worry, Rosie. There's lots of other fun rides you can go on. Ready, Caillou? Ready! <laughs> the roller coaster slowly began to move forwards. It went higher and higher and higher. Uh, we're getting really high. I know. We can see the whole park from up here. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. Here, hold my hand. Roller coaster was really fast. How <laughs> you could feel the wind blowing against his face as they zoomed around. <laughs> this is awesome. Caillou, you were very brave. Caillou and Rosie <laughs> found a great place for a photo. <laughs> Look, Mommy, Rosie can go on the roller coaster after all. Wow, you look like you're going really fast. That's right, Rosie. Shall we have a go? Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Here we go. Giddy up, Rosie. I'll race you to the finish line. Caillou <laughs> had lots of fun on the big roller coaster, but he loved going on the carousel with Rosie and his family just as much. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake. Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go. Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops. How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? 
Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou. Froggy! <laughs> oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay! Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Hmm, it's all gooey inside. Wow, what was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. Caillou and his friends were at the park. Caillou was very excited because today they were going to play soccer. Okay, everyone. Are we ready to play some soccer? We're ready, Grandpa. Are you going to be on our team? No, I'm going to be the referee. It's my job to make sure everyone plays by the rules and has fun. I'm going to score a hundred goals. You just might, Leo. But the most important thing is that we all play as a team. The first thing we need to do, though, is to warm up a little. Caillou was a little confused. Warm up? But it's not even cold. This is a different kind of warm up, Caillou. We do it to warm up our muscles. Look, copy what I do. First, we touch our toes. After that, we reach up to the sky. Then we do a twist to the right and then a twist to the left. And then finally, we rotate our hips around like this. That's it, Rosie. We're warming up. Caillou thought warming up was lots of fun. There, finished. Now you're warmed up and ready to play. Let's go. Good luck, Caillou. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. 
Caillou dribbled the ball down the field. He wanted to score a goal. Over here, Caillou! Pass to me! I'm open, Caillou! Caillou could hear Sarah and Leo calling, but he wanted to score a goal himself. Caillou was very unhappy. He was the one who was supposed to score. Come on, Caillou. Your teammates need you. It's not fair, Grandpa. I wanted to score a goal. Soccer is a team game, Caillou. You, Sarah, Leo, and Clementine have to work as a team and score a goal together. Watch, let me show you. Okay, Caillou, let's see if I can get the ball. Oh no, now Leo has the ball. You see, if you work together as a team, it makes it much easier. Caillou saw that they all had to work as a team. Okay, Grandpa, I think we're ready to play again now. Great! Caillou dribbled the ball towards the goal again. Pass, Caillou! Over here! Caillou stopped dribbling and passed the ball to Leo. Hooray! Hooray! Great job, guys! That was a great goal, Sarah! Thanks, Caillou! We all did it together! Caillou chased after the ball, but it was hard to catch. The other team was passing it around all over the place. Oh no! Great save, Clementine! Thanks! Clementine kicked the ball high into the air, and Caillou and Leo chased after it as fast as they could run. Get ready, Caillou! This was Caillou's chance. He took aim and kicked the soccer ball right into the goal. We did it! We scored another goal! Great job, team. That was a very good goal you scored, Caillou. It wasn't just me, Grandpa. We all had to work as a team. Okay, team. Ready to go again? Yeah! Grandpa looked around for the ball, but he couldn't see it. Hey, has anyone seen the soccer ball? <laughs> Rosie, come back! Caillou was very happy to have scored a goal, but was even happier to be in a team with all his friends. <laughs> It was a family day out, and Caillou couldn't wait to explore the botanical garden. Wow! Look at all the colors! Come on, Rosie, let's go take a look around. <gasps> Pretty! Well, Rosie, that's a sunflower. And it's yellow like the sun, see? Sunflower? Yellow! Okay, and this one here, it's white, just like the moon. What's it called, Mommy? Well, that one... Hmm... That one's a moonflower. Wow! Okay, so sunflowers are... Yellow! And moonflowers are... White! <laughs> That one's a rose. It's a rose. A red rose. Hmm. Roses are red. And violets are blue. Sunflowers are yellow. And... 
buttercups, too. Moonflowers are... White! Tree leaves are... Green! Aren't, aren't these, these the, the greatest, greatest colors, colors you've, you've ever seen? seen? That's pollen, Caillou. It can make people sneeze. Oh. Yobo! <laughs> Good job, Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Let's go and play in the maze and see if we can find the fountain. Well, you did a good job finding us. How did you manage that? I listened out real hard for the sound of the fountain and followed the sound to the middle of the maze. I'm proud of you, Caillou. That was really thinking on your feet. See, Caillou? Sometimes you might feel lost, but you're actually just on an adventure. Caillou loved exploring the botanical garden, but it was more fun when he was with his family and not lost in the maze. The three little pigs were trembling with fear. Would their plan work, or would the big bad wolf soon be inside their little house? Suddenly, down the chimney came the big bad wolf, and with a huge splash, fell straight into the cooking pot and the three little pigs lived happily ever after. That story was scary, Daddy. A big bad wolf can't really come down the chimney, can he? Of course not, Caillou. It's just a story. Now, you settle down to sleep. It's getting late. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. What's the matter? Did you have a scary dream? There's a monster under my bed. I heard it growling. I think it's the big bad wolf. Oh, Caillou, the big bad wolf isn't real. I thought I could sleep here with you and Daddy. You're a big boy now, Caillou. You have to sleep in your own bed. How about I go and check under your bed for monsters? Come on, buddy. Let's go and look together. Okay. I don't hear anything. It was coming from under there. No monsters here. Check the closet, Daddy. Sometimes monsters hide in there, too. Be careful. No monsters in here, either. But I heard it. Now, you hop back into bed. Can you check under the bed one last time? Just to make sure. 
Okay, but then you have to go to sleep. A, 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 a monster! It's the big bad wolf! It's going to eat us! Oh, it's not a big bad wolf. It's just Gilbert! I think Gilbert might have been purring in his sleep. He does that sometimes when he's dreaming. I'm sorry I called you a monster, Gilbert. I wasn't really scared. I knew it was Gilbert all along. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mommy and I are just next door if you need us. Though you'll be extra safe with Gilbert protecting you. <laughs> Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to enjoy a fun-filled day at the water park. Caillou was being a good older brother and was teaching Rosie how to swim. Okay, Rosie. All you have to do is kick your legs really fast, like this. Now you try. Great job, Rosie. Caillou, you're a very good teacher. Look! Those children are fighting a pirate ship. Looks like they could use your help, Caillou. Caillou, you need to put some sunscreen on first. But I want to go and battle the pirates. You won't be able to fight the pirates if you get a sunburn. Okay, Mommy. But hurry! We can't let the pirates take over the water park. Ah, it's cold. Hold still, Caillou. Perfect. <laughs> what? Meow! <laughs> Mommy, I can't fight the pirates looking like this. They'll laugh at me. Oh, okay, Captain Caillou. Come here. There. Now you're ready to go and save the day. Come on, Rosie. Let's go sink the pirate ship. Ready? Watch out, Caillou. The pirates are fighting back. Don't worry. I'll get him. Our man overboard! Whoa, oh, we, we did, did it! it. Yay! Yay! We did it, Rosie. We stopped the pirates from taking over the water park. Yar! <laughs> After all that excitement, I bet you two could do with a rest. How about we take a ride down the lazy river? That sounds like fun. This is very relaxing. It's a bit slow. Can it go any faster? Why don't we have a race to that palm tree, Caillou? Okay. Here I come, Caillou! Whoa! Whoa! I did it! I won! Well done, Caillou! Why is the line moving so slowly? Be patient, Caillou. This is the biggest slide at the water park. It'll be worth the wait. <gasps> the biggest? Can't we go on the second biggest slide? Don't worry, Caillou. There are two slides next to each other so we can go down together. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Mommy? I'm a little scared. Could you hold my hand? Of course, Mommy. I'll protect you. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! Go! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> See, Caillou, that wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for holding my hand, Caillou. You're very brave. That was splash-tastic! <laughs> Get set, go! <laughs> All right, now time for trampolining. <laughs> All right, kids, one at a time. Leo, you're up first. That was very impressive, everyone. Well done. Now, how about a new game? Yeah! Whoever throws the furthest wins. Three, two, one, throw! <laughs> and the winning ball belongs to Clementine. How about a break, kids? <gasps> Yum! What's next, Daddy? And for the last challenge of the day, the high jump! Ooh, wow! A real high jump! Good luck, kids! Second place, Caillou. Great job! <laughs> and that puts Clementine in first place. Congratulations, Clementine. <laughs> 
you know, every good castle should have a moat. What's a moat? A moat is a lake that wraps around a castle, protecting it from invaders. Oh! You need to dig nice and deep so that you reach wet sand. This will ensure the moat keeps its shape. That is a fine castle, Caillou. Now, just you wait. For what? That! Wow! Cool! <laughs> there, now you have a castle that can keep out any <gasps> unwanted visitors. <gasps> hey, Caillou, how about a game of Frisbee? Yeah! Go on, Caillou, but don't run too far. Caillou, but careful you don't go too far out. Hop on! It's coming! Go! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! Careful not to drink the seawater, Caillou. It doesn't taste very nice, but these slushies... Slushies! My favorite! Caillou, you rascal! <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, Caillou! trying to rob a train. A train robbery? Not on our watch. <laughs> we'll finish this later, Deputy Teddy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why steal from a train when I can steal an entire train? This is too easy. <laughs> what is Leo trying to steal from the train? The train is full of... Uh, train is full of gold. Don't worry, we'll stop him. Yeah! There! I'll climb onto the back of the train. <laughs> uh. 
the sheriff. for this train. Howdy! Oh. I hope you know how to stop a train. Broken. We need to get off the train. How? The same way I got here. <laughs> Looks like if I can't have the gold, no one can. Get out soon, Sheriff. You'll see. Well, if you do, me and Deputy Clementine will be ready to stop you. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> and Deputy Teddy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Caillou. Why is that window so tiny, Daddy? It's a window for an archer. From inside, there's plenty of room for arrows to go out. But on the outside, it's very hard to get an arrow in. So it keeps the archers safe. working on some magical projects for the king. 
What kind of projects? Well... The king wants me to make sure there's lots of food for all the people in the kingdom. Watch this! <laughs> wow, Caillou! That was really... on that spell a bit more. going on here? <laughs> Caillou! Caillou! Hello? Uh, uh, sorry, Daddy. You were off in your own world there. I was! I was a wizard, doing a spell, and there was a giant, and the magic spaghetti started to get really big and chase Leo. Come on, Caillou. Broccoli is good for you. I don't want broccoli. If you don't eat your vegetables, Caillou, you won't get any ice cream. Ice cream? Woohoo! Stop it, Rosie. I don't want broccoli. That's it, Caillou. Go to your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine. Broccoli is so gross, Teddy. I hate it. I never want to eat it ever again. Oh, hello. Hello. Can Caillou come out and play with us? I'm sorry, Leo. Caillou isn't allowed out today. He's been oh. very naughty, so he's grounded. Oh, Caillou mad. Okay. We'll see him another day, I guess. Hmm. Psst, Leo! Clementine! Wait there! I'll come down! No, Caillou! You'll get in trouble! <gasps> Hey, Gilbert, look, it's a tasty treat. Mm. <laughs> 
Doing? Caillou, I'm speaking to you. What do you think you're doing? I, I just wanted to see my friends. You're grounded, Caillou. You were very naughty earlier. I know, but... No buts, Caillou. And you definitely shouldn't try to sneak out. What if you had gotten hurt? Or lost. We wouldn't have been there to help you. I... I... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed out today because I was bad earlier. Okay, Caillou. We'll see you another day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so mad. I'm sorry for scaring you, Rosie. Caillou, mad. It's okay, Caillou. Thank you for apologizing. I'll go back to my room now. you finish your broccoli. <gasps> Tag! You're it, Rosie! <laughs> oh! <gasps> Tag! Birdie! Oh no! It's hurt its wing, Rosie! Birdie, hurt? Oh, we need to get it to Mommy. Mommy, Daddy! Oh. This baby bird hurt its wing. Oh, dear. Hmm. It has a twig stuck in its wing. We'll need to get that out. should do it, but we'll need to take care of it until it can fly again. Let's make up a bed so it can rest while its wing heals. There, Birdie. Now you'll be comfy while your wing gets better. Wing get better! Something for breakfast. Hmm. 
Hey, hi, you. What you looking for? Bertie's hungry, Daddy. I need to bring him some food. You've got to be more careful, Caillou, or you could really hurt yourself. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, birds do eat worms, but not gummy worms. But we don't have any real worms, so Bertie can eat some of these seeds. Here you go, Bertie. Daddy says you might like sunflower seeds. It looks like Bertie is all better. You've done a really good job looking after him, Caillou. Bertie better. Careful, Rosie. Bertie is small, so we have to be gentle. That's right, Caillou. We need to take extra care with small animals like Bertie, or we might accidentally hurt them. But I think it's time for Bertie to go back to his nest now. <laughs> hey, that's my head, not your nest. I'll miss you, Bertie, lots. Good luck, Bertie! shark, Caillou. It says mm. here they're the biggest fish in the whole ocean. Uh, Mrs. Martin says that's a blue whale. A blue whale is the biggest animal on the whole planet, but it's not a fish. It's not? Uh, but it lives in water. What is it? It's a mammal. Mammals can live on land as well as in the ocean. They need air to breathe. <laughs> But fish can only live in water. They don't need the air. They breathe water using their gills. So what else is a mammal? Hmm. Oh, a lot of things. Like <gasps> Gilbert, you, dolphins. I love dolphins. They're my favorite animal in the whole world. <gasps> Pretty cool, huh, Caillou? Are you ready for your surprise? I thought this was my surprise. You mean there's more? <laughs> sure there is. Let's go. Caillou, here's your surprise. <laughs> well, do you want to swim with them or not? Really? I can really swim with them? You sure can, Caillou. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get ready.
Caillou, meet Skipper. <laughs> I'm Caillou. <laughs> Caillou, mm. how about a game of catch? <laughs> Wanna play catch? <laughs> Why don't we try this? <laughs> Hold it above your head. Getting late. Would your dolphin like something to eat before we go? Well, are you hungry, Skipper? I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye, kids. Bye-bye, Skipper. Thank you for all the fun. You're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look, what is it? Hmm. Looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh no, how did I get it? I don't know, Caillou, but we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. Some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. But I tripped and spilled it. Was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? Hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. I met a friendly dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> the dog? Hmm. But there's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. Yeah. Oh. 
We had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? <sighs> then Teddy landed in a big bush. But it was okay, because I rescued him. <laughs> and we flew home together with him in my t-shirt. <laughs> It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy, and then it got on your tummy. Poison? Oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, Caillou. Time to get out. <gasps> and that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly. You. <laughs> Very good, Caillou. But how about we try it for real? How about we try that police car next? <laughs> you are under arrest, mister. Oh no, Grandpa! Where are you going to take me? We're going downtown. I've got some questions for you. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm uh, much too tired to arrest anybody today. Hop out, Caillou. Grandpa, Grandpa, what's this one? That's a garbage truck, Caillou. Come and take a look at this. Whoa! What happens to it after it's been crushed? Well, some of it goes to a big landfill, and the rest, like paper, plastic, and some metal, gets recycled. 
which means it gets made into something completely new so that it can be used again. <gasps> wow, Grandpa, look! A train! Whoa, Grandpa, this tractor is so big. <laughs> This must be for really big farms. Well, let's hop in, Farmer Caillou. Well, I'd say we're going to have a good harvest this year, Farmer Caillou. Yep, lots of carrots and potatoes and, and, and candy. <laughs> Candy? Wow, this must be a very special farm indeed. <laughs> Say, we'd better get you home, Farmer Caillou. Why don't you take these with you? Wow, thanks, Grandpa. I can't wait to show Mommy and Daddy. Martin is feeling poorly, but it's exciting to have you in my class for the day. I'm nervous, Mommy. I know, Caillou. Do you think you can be brave just for today? Everyone, this is the human Caillou. Please give the human greeting. Hello! Hi, Caillou! You'll be sitting there for today. Everyone, make sure to be extra welcoming, okay? Very funny. Delicious. Before. That's okay, Caillou. First times are always hard. You did great. <gasps> That's recess, kids. Hmm. Caillou to mommy. The aliens are playing a tag, but with really weird rules. Whoa! Uh, 
sorry, Caillou. I was trying to freeze tag you. That's okay. Am I it now? No, you're frozen. Oh. Stop storming. <gasps> it looks like the wind made the tree fall during the storm. Tree go back up? I don't think so, Rosie. <gasps> My swing. Can we fix it? I'm sorry, Caillou. We have to say bye to the tire swing, too. Uh, but I don't like saying bye. <gasps> Where will Gilbert sit now? The tree was always his favorite spot. <laughs> I remember the first time I brought Gilbert to the tree. Welcome to your new home, Gilbert. This is the garden. Oh, Gilbert, all this new stuff must be scary. Ah! Huh? The tree won't hurt you, Gilbert. Trees give us shade, and you can sit under them when you're tired. Like this. And from up in the branches, you can see everything. The tree wasn't only Gilbert's favorite. Mm -hmm. It was Rosie's <laughs> favorite, too. Rosie loved the tree! <laughs> Rosie loved the tree! <laughs> wants to meet you. 
say hello to your little sister, Rosie. Don't worry, Caillou. It's normal for babies to cry. How do we make her stop? We just need to figure out a way to make Rosie feel better. I know. Maybe it's too bright? Maybe a hug from her big brother will help. A hug? From me? But she's so little. Give it a try. You're her big brother, after all. But I don't know how to be a big brother. Make sure to hold her head. She stopped crying. You've got the magic touch. You're a great big brother already, Caillou. Phew! Well, my favorite memory of the tree is from way before then. My favorite is the day we moved here. <laughs> and we planted the tree together. Wait, we planted the tree? I don't remember that. Where was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> you were in my belly. A new house, a new tree, and soon a new baby. That's a lot of new. It's okay to worry when things feel so new, but that doesn't mean they won't be great. We just have to take it one day at a time. Whoa. <gasps> That's it! Mommy! Daddy! Wait! That should do. Mommy, Caillou, would you like to do the honors? We'd love to. <sighs> Now we can make new memories with a new tree. While always thinking fondly of the old memories. Rosie, help! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. I tried turning on a fan, but uh, I think I turned off everything else instead. But we were so close. You mean I was so close. Nuh-uh. <sighs> cool down, boys. I'll try flipping some switches upstairs. We'll be frosty in no time. <gasps> it really is hot. Yeah, I'm melting. Kinda feels like... Lava! <laughs> Rosie! Stay on your island, okay? Huh? Okay! The stairs! We'll be safe there! Too bad it's every kid for themselves. Hmm. 
first time's a charm. Maybe second time? Great, Caillou. I should have this figured out at any second now. <gasps> that did it. I guess Gilbert was the charm. You know what that means. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou. They're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. 
Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. It was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <gasps> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes. Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow, the ocean. The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. <laughs> the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. 
He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! It's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sand castle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sand castle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure. Caillou was at the supermarket with Mommy. Mommy, can you carry me, please? Caillou, you're a big boy. You can walk by yourself. But I don't feel very well. Caillou started to cry. <laughs> he wasn't feeling very well. Ooh, your forehead is very hot. You might have a fever. Caillou snuggled up to his Mommy. Hmm, come on. Let's go home and check your temperature. Caillou was not feeling very well. He had the flu. How do you feel, Caillou? <coughs> My throat hurts. I think we may need to go visit the doctor. No, I don't want to go to the doctor, Mommy. It's always best to visit the doctor when you're ill. They'll make you feel better in no time. Hello there, Caillou. Caillou wanted to stay near Mommy. He was still a little bit scared. So, a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. Well, I can change that. But first, I need your help. You can use my stethoscope to listen to your Mommy's heartbeat. Caillou had never used a stethoscope. He was amazed. He could hear Mommy's heartbeat. Wow! Very cool, right? Would you like to listen to your own heartbeat? 
Caillou could hear his own heart. He was really amazed. Now, can I listen? Dr. Rose used the stethoscope to listen to Caillou's heart and lungs. Caillou, I want to look inside your ears now. I'm going to shine this light inside your ear to make sure everything is okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, Caillou. It won't hurt. You can hold my hand if you like. Caillou held Mommy's hand whilst Dr. Rose looked in his ear. Now I want to look at your throat to see if it's red. I need you to open your mouth like this. Ah. Uh... Dr. Rose opened her mouth wide, but Caillou was still a bit worried. Now it's your turn. Caillou opened his mouth wide and stuck his tongue out. Ah! Uh... Oh dear. It looks like you have a bad cold, Caillou. Caillou cuddled up to Mommy. He didn't like having a cold. Your mommy has done a good job taking care of you. Now you need to rest some more and take this medicine. You'll get better in no time. The next day, Caillou was starting to feel a bit better. Mommy brought Caillou a glass of water. But I'm not thirsty. It's important to drink lots of water when you're sick. Are you feeling a bit better now? Let's check your temperature. Oh, mommy! Caillou, you have to sit still, dear. Caillou couldn't sit still. He wanted to play with his toys. Looks like you're getting a lot better. Caillou wanted to play doctor with his teddy. He pretended to check Teddy's temperature. How is Teddy feeling, Caillou? He's a bit ill, Mommy. I'm going to have to stay here and make sure he gets better. Good idea, Caillou. That's very kind of you. Caillou loved playing doctor with his teddy. He was happy to stay home and make sure Teddy got better. Today was Halloween, so Mommy and Daddy had invited all of Caillou's friends for a spooky party. Can I have a cupcake, Mommy? Not just yet, Caillou. We have to get them ready for the Halloween party. Oh, all right. Why don't you help me decorate some? Okay. Let's draw a pumpkin. Which color do you think we should use? Orange. Pumpkins are orange, Mommy. That's right, Caillou. <laughs> Here, you try one. I'm going to make the biggest pumpkin ever! Don't squeeze it too hard, Caillou. It was too late. Caillou had squeezed icing all over the kitchen. Oops, sorry, Mommy. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go and get you changed into your costume. Your party guests will be arriving soon. Caillou found Rosie and Daddy decorating the living room for the party. Hi, Caillou. What do you think of the decorations? Spooky enough for the party? It looks amazing! Caillou suddenly noticed that all of the ghosts had smiley faces. Hey! I thought ghosts were meant to be scary, not happy! Oh, I think Rosie's happy ghosts are perfect for our party. We don't want to get too scared. <laughs> all of Caillou's friends had arrived for the party. They all looked very scary in their Halloween costumes. Roar! Nice pirate costume, Sarah! Yar! Your dinosaur costume is great too, Caillou. Okay, everyone, it's time to play a spooky game. The mystery box. What do we have to do? You put your hand inside the box and touch the spooky thing inside. If you guess it right, you win a prize. Caillou didn't like the sound of touching something spooky, 
but he did like winning prizes. Yuck! What is it, Caillou? It feels like a bowl of slimy worms! Ew! Oh, not quite. Here, take a look. <laughs> oh, it was just spaghetti! Caillou felt relieved that he hadn't touched real worms. Okay, your turn now. Yuck! I think I've got eyeballs! Eek! Mine has a bowl of teeth inside! Gross! It feels like fingers! Fingers? Oh, it's okay. They're just baby carrots. Oh! It wasn't eyeballs. It was just grapes. And the teeth were actually candy corn. Yummy! That wasn't a scary game after all, Mommy. You tricked us. Hey, who... Uh, who turned out the lights? <laughs> Caillou, come back! It's only me! That was super scary! I thought you were a real ghost! Me too! I wasn't scared! I knew that it wasn't really a ghost because ghosts aren't real! Hey, where did Leo go? I guess Rosie's ghosts were scary after all. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine. You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all! There we go! 
Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe. Perfect. Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea. Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There! That looks awesome! Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy, but it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There, that should be plenty. Quick, let's go and finish the base. It's starting to get dark. Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time. Let's get inside. We can build some more in the morning when it's safe. What an awesome base we've built! I know. It's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh! What was that? Don't worry. Nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh, no! We left the front door open! Close it, quick! Yeah. Uh, uh, a monster! Hurry, Caillou! We'll have to use the secret exit to escape! Trapped! No! Meow! Gilbert! It was you all along! Great job, guys! You've tidied up the whole garden! No, we didn't! We were playing dig and build! We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us! Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness. Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't. We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah. What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine. But building a real base outside was much more fun. <laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah, look at what Mommy made me. Wow, what a great tie. numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie.
So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. Oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show and tell. Oh, cool! <gasps> How does it work, Daddy? Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not <gasps> quite anything. <gasps> oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Oh, Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Finished. Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> that was so cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. One, two, three boxes of cookies. Done! Not quite, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle gave you five dollars for five boxes of cookies. You've only given him three. That's not right, Caillou. Oh, sorry. So you have three. Here's four and five. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caillou and Clementine. Thanks, Mr. Hinkle. Yeah! Have a nice day. Wow. We already sold 10 boxes of cookies today. I wonder if we can sell 20. Or 30. Or 50. 
or a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. These people are marching. Marching? Why? People march when they're unhappy about something big and they want to change it. They march with signs to let the people in charge know how they feel. Why are they shouting so loudly? Yeah. What are they upset about? Well, they want to get everyone's attention. This is a protest to stand up against racism. What's racism? Oh, Mommy told me. Racism is when people are mean to each other because of their skin color. Right, Mom? That's right, Clementine. See, there was a time when you two wouldn't have been able to play together just because of the colors of your skin. Really? Yes. People with darker skin like me and Clementine were not allowed to do the same things as people with lighter skin like you, Caillou. You two wouldn't have been able to swim together or ride the bus together or even eat at restaurants together. That's not fair. Lots of people agreed, Caillou. So they all marched together, just like this. And things changed and got better. So now you and Clementine can both play together and do all the same things. Oh. So marching is a good thing. It is, Clementine. Sometimes people are still mean to people with darker skin, like us. So all these people are trying to make things better. And when lots of different people all come together like this, they can change the whole world. Wow! Water! Free water! I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Hi, hi Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What are you doing with all that water? Me and my parents are passing them out to thirsty people on the march. That's so nice. Hey, you two. Should we get back to selling cookies? Well, some of the people marching look kind of hungry. Could we give them some cookies? Oh, can we? Can we? I think that's a wonderful idea. We can spare a few boxes. Water! Water! Free water! Cookies! Cookies! Free cookies! Now kids, as you all know, every year the school puts on a performance to celebrate the holidays. This year, we'll be putting on a show to learn about all the different holiday traditions. But we already know about Christmas. Yes, Caillou, but not everyone celebrates Christmas. <laughs> There are lots of other winter holidays, like Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Please take these scripts home and read them through with your parents. I can't believe Hanukkah is going to be part of the show. Hanukkah? Is that what Mrs. Martin was talking about? Yeah, look, that's a Star of David. It's a symbol of Judaism. Hanukkah is celebrated around the same time as Christmas, but instead of getting presents on one day, we get them for eight. <gasps> eight days of presents? Wow! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! 
Daddy, did you know there are holidays other than Christmas? There's going to be a school show all about it. Oh, how exciting. There are so many different holidays from all around the world. Hey, why don't we all learn about the holidays and practice for the show? Yeah! On the first day of Hanukkah, Jewish people light a candle. And then they add one every day until there are eight. That's because when Jewish people defeated their mean king, they only had enough oil to light their menorah for one night. But it stayed lit for eight whole nights. Eight nights? How? It was a miracle. That's why sometimes we call Hanukkah the Festival of Lights. Daddy! Can we have eight days of presents instead? <laughs> you know, Caillou, there's more to the holidays than presents. What all these holidays have in common is that they're all about celebrating love, kindness, mm. and having your friends and family around you. But presents are also nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's nearly time. Don't be nervous, try your best, and most importantly, have yeah! fun. <laughs> Kwanzaa started in 1966 to celebrate the first harvest of the season and is celebrated by people with African heritage. We do lots of singing and dancing and give gifts and light our special Kanara candles. The Dongji Festival takes place on the shortest day of the year. Every day after will be longer and bring more positive energy to the world. Oh, and we also get to eat a special dessert made out of rice called Tang Yuan. <laughs> Yum! At Hanukkah, we light one candle every night for eight nights and give each other presents. We also sing and play with really old toys like dreidels. At Christmas, we celebrate when Jesus was born. We give each other gifts and feel grateful for the friends and family we have. The holidays are about bringing people together. Family, friends, and those who need a helping hand. And even though not everyone celebrates the same holidays, there are a lot of things that we all have in common. All of our holidays are about kindness and love and friendship and... Presents! <laughs> Rosie, Super Caillou will get your ball. Uh, somehow. Oh, Gilbert, can you get the ball, please? Gilbert aren't just any superheroes. 
Your kindness, superheroes. Kindness, superheroes? What's that? Well, all heroes save people from bad guys, but kindness, superheroes, do kind things for people, too, <laughs> just to make their day a little better. Hmm, I like the sound of that. What do you think, Gilbert? <laughs> <gasps> Ready to be kindness superheroes, Gilbert? <laughs> then let's go! We've done a super job at being kind today. Shark! <gasps> Somebody help! Hmm. Wait! It's not safe! Let the crows handle this! Come on, Super Gilbert! There's no time to waste! Superheroes get scared sometimes, and Super Gilbert really doesn't ah. like water, remember? Oh, sorry, Gilbert. No, oh, that's okay. But maybe Super Gilbert can help in another way. Day, and I was thinking, no kindness superhero is complete without a cape. So, ta-da! Wow! Thanks, Mommy! <gasps> Follow me, please. Daddy, I want to go to another... Trust us, Caillou. You're going to like this one. Hmm. Look!
Come to those who wait. I don't know if I can wait, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about me? I want. <gasps> Good, Daddy, Caillou. <laughs> Come to those who wait. No, wait, Caillou, that's oh, spicy. That's really spicy. Red! Here, drink some water. That's a wasabi, Caillou. You're only supposed to have a tiny bit of it. Mm. This will make it better. Mm -mm. I don't want anything else that's new. <gasps> oh, oh, this looks amazing. delicious, Caillou. You should try some. Hmm. I promise it's not spicy. You won't know if you like ah. it until you try it. Uh, is there a kid's menu? Afraid not, but I can make something just for you. What's your favorite thing to eat? Hmm. Oh, can you make grilled cheese? <laughs> a little of this. And... This isn't grilled cheese. Are you sure? Huh? Cheese? Can you fly the cranes back to me? Can't I just eat them? I'm really hungry. Uh-uh-uh. Good things come to those who wait. I promise, this will be the best grilled cheese you've ever had. Oh, Amazing. Hey, Rosie. Oh, oh, sorry, Rosie. I, I got carried away. Grilled cheese, sir. It's delicious. Of course, it is because good things come to those who wait. <laughs> Would you like to try mine, Caillou? Will I like it? You won't know until you try it. Ooh. It's called tempura. How about some of my fish? What else would you like to try? Everything! Coming right up! <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to have a pop quiz. Aww. Now, you 
know how hard we've been working on our numbers? Well, this is just a little test to see how much you've learned or to see where you might need some extra help. It's nothing to worry about. Now, I'll read out the questions and you just need to write the answers on your sheets. You can turn over your papers now. Question one. How many apples do you see on the page? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, how many apples do I have if I add two more? If you're having trouble, draw the extra apples. Question three. If I take five apples away, how many are left? <gasps> Next up are some questions about shapes. Now, how many sides does a square have? Oh no, not shapes. Next, can you draw a triangle? Uh. 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 Caillou, were you looking at Leo's paper? Uh. No, Mrs. Martin, I, I promise I... I'll see you after class, Caillou. Great work, class. Now go on out for recess. Please hand your papers in to me on your way out. <laughs> Not you, Caillou. Take a seat, please. Now, Caillou, do you understand why you failed the test? It's because you cheated, Caillou. And cheating is wrong, isn't it? I didn't cheat, Mrs. Martin. Then why were you looking over at Leo's paper? I... I didn't mean to. I was... <sighs> now, Caillou, it's okay to admit you made a mistake. We all make them sometimes. The important thing is to own up and do better in the future. I'm not good at shapes, and I was worried I'd get the wrong answers. So, uh, I cheated. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling the truth, Caillou. You should never cheat, but you should always ask for help if you need it. If you're finding shapes hard, then I can give you some extra help in class, okay? Hmm. How does that sound? Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Mrs. Martin. Good. Well, some of recess is left. Why don't you go out and play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Caillou? Maybe we can go through the test together later. Without cheating. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Martin. That's a great snail, Andy. But aren't 
that snail's kind of scary? Snails aren't scary. My favorites. Oh, but they're so slimy and... <gasps> what is that? Okay, class. This is a fire alarm, so we all have to leave the classroom. Please find your buddies. Follow Miss Shelley outside and line up in the playground. Come on, Andy. You're my buddy, remember? <gasps> Andy? <laughs> Nice and steady now. Oh, Mrs. Martin, I think it's too loud for Andy. He needs his headphones. Good idea, Caillou. They're just over there by his backpack. Thank you, Caillou. Now come along. We need to go to the playground. Great job, everyone. This was just a practice, but you were all very calm and did what you were told. So well done. And now, it's recess time. Have fun. <laughs> It's recess now. Do you want to play catch? I have your special ball. Everything okay, Caillou? Me and Andy were having a lot of fun drawing, but he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy really doesn't like loud noises. So that fire alarm was extra scary for him. Yeah, I get scared too sometimes when it's dark. It isn't nice. Exactly. Just give him some time and he'll be back to his usual self, I'm sure. Ah! <gasps> get it away! Clementine, are you okay? It's a snail! Ew! Snails are slimy and scary. Don't worry, Clementine. It's perfectly harmless. We'll move it out of the way for you now. Snail! Cool! That's right! Snails are Andy's favorite! Can you help us get the snail away from Clementine? Snails don't go on slides. Ugh. Time to go home, snail. Wow, that was amazing, Andy. Yeah, you saved me. Yes, well done, Andy. That was quick thinking. See, Caillou? The alarm may have been scary and painful for Andy because of his autism, but the snail wasn't. Everyone has things they find hard to cope with, but that's okay, because we all help each other when we struggle. Yeah! Got you! Catch! <laughs> Here it comes! Fun mode activated. Wow. 
It's a brand new virtual reality game. That means that you don't just look at the game on a screen, you go inside the game. Inside? Mm -hmm. Daddy, we have to try this. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> All right, Caillou. This game is set in the what? distant future. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How is it, Caillou? It's amazing! Hey, that's the robot from the prize show! <laughs> hey, robot! Over here! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, traveler! To complete the level, you must reach the finish line in the fastest time. Good luck. But where is the... Oh! Get ready, Caillou. You're going so fast! What was that? Wow! You got the rocket boots! Rocket boots! <laughs> That was amazing, Caillou! It certainly was. And as the new champion, here is your prize. <laughs> Mission successful. Well, Deputy Teddy, I think the town is going to be safe now we caught the Rexy Bandit. <gasps> Sheriff Caillou, come quick. Howdy, Clementine. What's wrong? Sheriff Caillou, an outlaw is trying to rob the bank. <gasps> oh, no. What are we waiting for? Let's ride. Ho, ho, ho. 
<laughs> oh, wee! That was fun! Now I just need to get out of here before the sheriff arrives! <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy! Well, well, well. Looky here. That money isn't yours. It is now. I'm the sheriff in these parts, and I say you have to give it back. <laughs> if you don't take the money back, I'll take you to jail. Well, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Draw! you all might be hungry after saving the day, so I brought you some cowboy cookies. Wow! Thanks, Mommy! These ought to keep you full of energy for your next adventure. Yeah! And Sheriff Caillou is always ready to save the day! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were having lots of fun playing in the garden. They were having a competition to see who could throw the ball the highest. Okay, here it goes. Oh! That was really high. It almost touched the roof of the house. You try, Caillou. Mine is gonna touch the clouds! Whoa! <laughs> that was close, Caillou. But I don't think it made it all the way to the clouds. Watch this! I bet I can reach the moon! <gasps> hey! Where did it go? It must have gone into space. <laughs> it's not in space. It's in the tree. Look. Oh, oh no! How are we going to get it down? If only we could fly or jump really high, then we'd be able to reach it. This looks like a job for some superheroes. To the Caillou Cave! <laughs> Captain Caillou, super strength! Captain Clem, night vision! Captain Leo, super speed! Okay, guys, let's go get our ball back! Look, 
There's a note. What does it say? I don't know. It looks like some kind of code. Don't worry. Professor Mommy is great at solving codes. We can take the note to her. Well, hello, my little superheroes. Are you on a super adventure? Yes! We're trying to solve the mystery of our missing ball. Can you help us? Well, I can try. The thief left us this note, but it's in some sort of code. You're right, Captain Clementine. It is a code. Luckily for you, I can read it. What does it say? It says, your precious ball is mine now. <gasps> if you want it back, meet me in my evil lair. Signed, Daddy, the Master Thief. Oh, no! <gasps> Where can we find the Master Thief? Well, rumor has it that his lair is in the living room. I mean, the Shadowlands. That sounds scary. Don't worry, Captain Clem. You've got the power of night vision. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go to beat Daddy and get our ball back. <laughs> There's our ball! Wait, it could be a trap. Don't worry, Clem. With your night vision, we can see in the dark. There, that's better. <laughs> Look out! It's the Master Thief! So, you worked out my code, did you? Quick! Captain Leo, use your super speed to tie him up! Oh no! You've captured me! Caillou, use your super strength to knock him down! <laughs> you got me. The ball is yours. You really are some superheroes. Great job, team. Let's go and find another hero adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou had enjoyed a long summer break from school. He'd had lots of fun going to water parks, camping in the garden with Daddy and Gilbert, and playing in the park with Rosie and all his friends. But now, it was time to go back to school. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to get up. You don't want to be late for your first day back at school. Uh, do I have to go back to school, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've had a lovely summer, but now it's time to go back and see all your friends. And besides, I thought you wanted to show off your new lunchbox. Oh, yeah! I forgot! And look, Caillou, here at the end of your bed, your new shoes. And your new backpack. <gasps> Do you need any help getting dressed? It's okay. I can get dressed all by myself. Okay. I'm going to go and fill your lunchbox with a special surprise lunch. A surprise? That's right. A special treat for your first day back at school. Hey, Caillou, you look great. Are you ready for your first day back at school? Almost, but I can't tie my laces. Come and sit down. I'll teach you. First, you take one lace and put it under the other to make a cross shape. Then, we make a bunny ear out of each lace and cross one bunny ear over the other. The bunny then runs around the tree and then down into its hole, and you're done! Wow! Why don't you try the other one? First, 
I make a cross. Then the bunny goes in its hole, then around the tree. <laughs> Almost, Caillou. Keep practicing and you'll have it in no time. Caillou, look at you all dressed by yourself and ready for school. Daddy helped me with my laces. Is my lunchbox surprise ready? Here it is. You're not allowed to peek inside before lunchtime. Otherwise, it won't be a surprise. I promise. We should get going, Caillou. Have you brushed your teeth yet? <sighs> nope. I'll go and do it now. My, you do look grown up. Caillou made sure to take extra care brushing his teeth so they were all nice and shiny. Well, Caillou, have a lovely day at school and enjoy your surprise. Bye-bye, Mommy. And Leo! And look! There's Emma! Hey, Emma! Dinosaur sandwiches! They match your lunchbox, Caillou. Wow! And a banana with my name on it? How did it grow like that? Wow! I've never seen that before! It's my special surprise! It was just another day at school. Or so Caillou thought. All of a sudden, Caillou felt a pain in his mouth. Caillou's tooth had come loose. Guys! Guys! Look! My tooth is wobbling! Wow, Caillou! You'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy soon. Huh? The Tooth Fairy, Caillou? Whenever you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the Tooth Fairy comes and leaves something special underneath in its place. <gasps> no, Caillou, don't do that. It'll fall out on its own. <sighs> it seemed Caillou would just have to be patient. With that, Caillou decided to wait, but he was so excited for the rest of the day, he could barely concentrate in class. Later that day, after school, Caillou skipped out of the gate to meet Grandma. He couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy about his loose tooth. That's great, Caillou. Let's take a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... That looks almost ready to come out. But not yet. Uh... Caillou waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited. until suddenly his tooth fell out. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, it came out! My tooth came out! That's great, Caillou. <laughs> so when will the Tooth Fairy come? Well, first you need to put your tooth under your pillow or she won't know to come and visit. Oh, right, I forgot. We'll all go up together. Okay now, Caillou. Place it carefully under your pillow. And let's see in the morning what the Tooth Fairy brings you. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Mommy and Daddy.
Caillou sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes widened <gasps> as he remembered what lay waiting beneath his pillow. Just then, Caillou noticed something from the corner of his eye. Something glowed in the corner of his bedroom. It was the Tooth Fairy. Well, hello, Caillou. I hear you've lost a tooth. Have you been taking good care of your teeth? <laughs> Where do you take all the teeth, Tooth Fairy? Why, back to Fairyland, of course. We use them to build our fairy castle bigger and bigger. Wow! Oh, good night, Tooth Fairy. Good night, Caillou. I'll take good care of your tooth. Don't forget to check your pillow when you wake up. Caillou had the strangest dream. Remembering suddenly, Caillou sat bolt upright and threw his pillow to the side. <gasps> Under his pillow was a shiny silver quarter and a note. Dear Caillou, thank you for keeping your tooth so clean. Love from the Tooth Fairy. It was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set. Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. <laughs> oh no! Caillou dropped his egg! Caillou tried and tried to keep his eggs steady, but he couldn't do it. Caillou! You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Caillou! Go, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! <laughs> you did so well in the race, Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you! Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun! Congratulations, Caillou! <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! Look what I got! Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right. What's next? Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> wow! What 
should we do first, Clem? <gasps> Skee-ball! It's my favorite! Yeah! Can we, Daddy? Sure, Caillou. Let's go! <laughs> Caillou, it's your final throw. Deep breath. <sighs> All right, Caillou. Well done, Caillou. <laughs> Wait to spend my tokens. Well, don't spend them all at once. Race you to the bumper cars, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, kids, that was great. You must be getting hungry. Well, what would you like? <sighs> Let's see what we can get with this. <gasps> Air hockey! Yes! <laughs> that is one cold milkshake, huh, Caillou? <gasps> Mini golf! Let's go! Almost there, Clem. One more tap should do it. That's it, Caillou. You can do this. <laughs> wow, Caillou! A hole in one! We did it, Clem! Yeah! Come on, let's go get our prizes. I almost forgot! Wow, Caillou. Did you have a good day? The best! I'd like a lemonade, please. Oops, uh, that'll be one dollar. 
Taylor, please, mister. How's it going, Caillou? It's going great, Mommy. Look how much I've made already. That's wonderful, Caillou. It looks busy. Do you need any help? No, thank you, Mommy. I've got this all under control. Okay. Well, you call us if you need anything. We'll be right over here. One dollar? Two dollars? Three dollars? Four dollars? Five dollars? Oh, wow! A puppy! <laughs> oh, he is a scallywag. Pepper off. Come this way. I am sorry, young man. I hope he didn't bother you. Oh, no. I love dogs. <laughs> Please, can I play with him a bit longer? What do you think, Pepper? <laughs> and what is your name, young man? I'm Caillou. Well, Caillou, you go off and play, and I'll have a glass of that delicious-looking lemonade. Let's go, Pepper. What's his name? Pepper! Because he's black, see? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone is a little excited. Yeah, he's really friendly. <laughs> Do you want to pet him, Rosie? <laughs> Here, Pepper. Kiss, huh, Rosie? Caillou, don't forget this. They've had a wonderful time together, haven't you, Caillou? Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for taking him off my hands, Caillou. I haven't had such a restful day out in a long time. <laughs> and I think Pepper enjoyed himself, too. Pepper needs to cool down. Hmm. I know. Pepper, let's go play in the fountain. Everyone, this is Alex. Now, it can be very scary to start at a new school, so let's all try and make him feel welcome, okay? Why don't you take a seat, Alex? You're very quiet today, Caillou. How was school? It was okay. Hmm. Hmm. Not hungry? 
hungry, Caillou? I thought spaghetti was your favorite. Spaghetti! Caillou, Daddy is talking to you. Hello, Earth to Caillou. Are you in there? I don't want spaghetti, Daddy! scared Rosie, Caillou. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just got really mad. Well, why don't you tell me what made you so mad? Uh, it's just... There's a new kid at school, and I just wanted to be his friend, but he pushed me, and it hurt, and I don't know why he was so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caillou. I understand why that would make you angry. Uh, I didn't mean to be angry at Rosie. Uh, I'm just scared. That's okay. Rosie will understand if you apologize. That's what's most important. Caillou? Sorry I scared you, Rosie. It isn't nice to be scared. Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Rosie. Let's go down and finish our dinner. What if Alex is mean again, Daddy? I'm going to come in and we'll speak to Mrs. Martin about it together, okay? Remember, if anyone is ever mean to you, you can always tell your teacher. Okay. Good morning, Caillou. Hi, Mrs. Martin. I... I need to tell you that... Hey, Caillou. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Alex. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for pushing you yesterday. It's just really scary being at a new school. And I didn't mean to be mean, but I'd really like to be your friend, if you'll still let me. That's okay. Sometimes when I get scared, I mean by accident, too. Really? Yeah. But my daddy says the important thing is to say sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Caillou. You don't want Alex to be late on his second day, do you? Coming! Come on, you can meet Leo and Clementine before class! It was a bright and sunny day, and Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou on a mystery drive. He was excited to find out where they were going. Where are we, Mommy? You'll find out soon, Caillou. But I want to know now! Caillou was getting bored of being in the car. It felt like they'd been driving for hours. Caillou looked around everywhere, but there was nothing nearby at all. There's nothing here! Where are all the buildings? <laughs> this is a national park, Caillou. There aren't any buildings. Just miles and miles of nature and fresh air. So what are we going to do here? We're going to have a... Picnic! Caillou thought a picnic was a great idea. He was so hungry. When the picnic was over, Caillou had so much energy, he couldn't sit still. Can we go exploring now? I want to find a lion or a tiger! <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any of those here, I'm afraid, Caillou. But there are lots of squirrels and rabbits. And now there's a bear, too! Teddy! Caillou didn't really like walking through the woods that much. He thought it was a bit boring.
excuse me. Caillou turned around and saw a strangely dressed man in a big hat catching up to them. Hi, I'm Bob, one of the park rangers. I think you might have dropped this little guy. Caillou was confused. Why was the man carrying his trash? No, it's empty, so I don't need it anymore. <laughs> you shouldn't just drop things when you're done with them. You should always make sure to put them in a trash can. But why? Well, if everyone dropped their trash all the time, the park would be really messy, and some of the animals might mistake it for food and hurt themselves by trying to eat it. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want any animals to hurt themselves. Oh, no! I'll make sure to put it in a trash can later. That sounds like a good idea. Even better, you could recycle them. What's recycling? It's when we reuse things to make new things, kind of like that bottle. Hmm. Daddy, can Park Ranger Bob come for a walk with us? Sure he can. Caillou wanted to know more about why recycling was important. What kind of things can you recycle, Bob? Well, you can recycle cans, cardboard, paper, glass, and plastic. But you must always remember not to put them all in one trash can. Then what happens? When you recycle something, it gets broken down and made into new things. Oh, like a circle. It goes round and round. Exactly. Well done, kiddo. After a long walk, Caillou and his family were all ready to go home. Thanks for teaching me all about recycling. My pleasure, Caillou. Here, I have something for you. One for you, and one for Rosie. Wow! Thank you! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm Park Ranger Caillou! <laughs> Bye, Park Ranger Bob! Wait! We have to keep the park clean. Caillou had loved exploring nature today. He couldn't wait to be Park Ranger Caillou again. Caillou and Daddy were playing with Caillou's favorite train set. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Is it true some trains go underground? Yes, that's true. It's a special kind of train called a subway. Caillou was a little surprised. The subway must be really dark if it's underground. I'd love to ride the subway one day. That gave Daddy an idea. The next day, Daddy decided to take Caillou on a special expedition. Are we really going on a subway train? Yes, Caillou. We'll be two explorers. Caillou put on his special blue hat and backpack. I can't wait to be an explorer. What's in your backpack? Explorer stuff. Caillou and his daddy went into the subway station. A gust of wind blew daddy's hat off. <laughs> Oops! A good explorer should always hold on to his hat during a tornado. Hmm. Caillou wondered where all that wind was coming from. Daddy bought two tickets for the subway. Push hard, Caillou. Caillou pushed hard, and he got through. Well done, Caillou. You've passed the first obstacle on our expedition. Caillou and Daddy went to the escalator. We're going underground now. Are you ready? Caillou looked at the big hole leading underground. He really wasn't sure if he still wanted to be an explorer. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. There's nothing to be scared of. 
down the escalator they went. Caillou held his daddy's hand very tightly. And here we are. But it's not dark at all. There were so many people, and there was even a man playing a guitar. Daddy looked at a huge map on the wall, full of colored lines. Then Caillou heard a noise, getting louder and louder and louder. What's that? You'll see. Lights appeared from the dark tunnel. It's the train! The subway train arrived with a big gust of wind, and the doors opened all by themselves. Hurry, Caillou. We have to get on before the doors close. Caillou was very impressed. Are they magic doors? Caillou looked around the busy train. We have to stand? Hold on tight, Caillou. The train took off and picked up speed. Caillou was holding the pole really tightly. He loved his ride on the subway. It's like a merry-go-round! Caillou Whee! watched as the lights whizzed by in the tunnel. We're almost there. Caillou was sad that the ride would be over soon. Caillou and Daddy walked around the park. They stopped on a park bench nearby to have a snack. It's much quieter here than on the subway. Caillou took two cookies from his backpack. One for you and one for me. Here an explorer that thinks of everything. I brought my flashlight and my teddy too. The explorers went back to the subway station. Watch out for the tornado! Caillou went into the station holding his hat, pushed his way through the turnstile without getting stuck, and rode down the escalator into the ground without being scared at all. Once he was on the subway, Caillou, the great explorer, fell asleep on his daddy's lap. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee table. Beep, 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 beep. Whoops! Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your grandpa and I won. Wow! First prize! Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes! I can win first prize, too! Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou <laughs> hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. <laughs> Watch this, 
Grandma? Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, huh, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then, the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look! I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. <laughs> may I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together, they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race! Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath, and then you won't feel so itchy. While Mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching. But I'm so itchy, Mommy. If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. <laughs> oh, 
Mommy, that tickles! <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox, too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. <gasps> he picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yup. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the... <gasps> now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots. Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here. If you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. Caillou and Rosie were in the bedroom playing. They were drawing some pictures. Tree! Yes! A tree, Rosie, but trees aren't blue, they're green. Caillou had an idea. He was going to teach Rosie all about colors. Let's draw a picture together. Hmm, I wonder what we could draw. Grandma! Hello, Caillou and Rosie. What are you two doing? Me and Rosie are going to draw a picture together, but we're not sure what to draw. Hmm. What if you have a look out the window? You might find some inspiration. Caillou rushed over to the window. There were so many things. He didn't know where to start. to draw, Grandma. Here's an idea. Why don't you draw everything you see right now? Ice cream! <laughs> yes, and perhaps the ice cream truck, too. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He could draw everything he saw out of the window. Thank you, Grandma. Okay, Rosie, now copy me. Red, red. Green, green. Blue, blue. White, white. That's right! Rosie was so excited. Green! Yeah, just like my dinosaur. That's right, Rosie! Uh... 
Rosie looked very puzzled. There must have been something brown in the room. Can you see anything brown in my room, Rosie? <sighs> you can do it, Rosie. Keep looking. Teddy! Yay! Rosie, you did it! Now that Rosie knew all of the colors, it was time to draw the picture. Now let's draw together. Are you ready? Red, yeah! Blue? No, Rosie, the sky is blue, but the trees are green. Bus, yes, that's a yellow bus. Caillou and Rosie had finished their drawing. Caillou really enjoyed teaching Rosie all about colors. Let's go show Grandma! Grandma, look! Wow! Did you and Rosie draw this together? Yes! I taught Rosie all the colors! <laughs> well, I think my little artists might want to get some ice cream. Yay! Caillou couldn't wait for the ice cream. He was so excited about all the different colors he could choose. After all, he was an artist. Just over there, Caillou, next to the rest of them. Building me a fort, Daddy. It's going to be the best ever. That's okay, Caillou. You know, my dad made me a fort when I was about your age, too. <gasps> All right. Toolbox, nails, workbench. I think we have everything. Where do you think we should build it, Caillou? Hmm. Too muddy there. Too many bugs in that bush. Ugh. And too dark there. Uh. Oh! <laughs> How about here? This is a great spot. <laughs> here, Caillou, take the end of this. Okay, now. Pull it out that way until I say stop. Yes, sir, Daddy, sir. And stop. Whoa! Uh. Oh. Stop. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Here, Caillou. Safety first. We'll need to be careful with everything we use today. <gasps> okay, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. We'll have a fort built in no time. That was great teamwork, Caillou. <gasps> Fort Caillou! I love it! Thank you, Daddy! What is it, Caillou? Mommy, can I sleep in the 
fort tonight? Oh, not alone. But maybe <gasps> Daddy will camp out with you. Oh, can we? Please? <laughs> okay, Caillou. <laughs> We're all set in here, Caillou. You need anything else? Over. No, thank you, Daddy. Over. All right, Caillou. Good night. Over. <laughs> Good night. the stars? Rosie, it's not what you think. Miss Rosie, we're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <sighs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <clears throat> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. It's a dentist uniform. Looks like you have very nice teeth, Miss Rosie. I think that if... You okay, Caillou? Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? 
dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. Hello, Rosie. Good Kip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off? Clever boys. <laughs> Daddy, can you look after Jason's backpack while we go to the bathroom? Of course. After my backpack. That was quick. <laughs> no problem, Jason. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks for looking after my backpack. Can I get it back now? Jason, didn't I just give you your backpack? <laughs> no, we just got back. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry, Jason. I don't know who I gave it to. <laughs> there. I think... Oh, of course. Jeffrey! <laughs> Nice prank. <laughs> hey, Rosie, do you want to meet my friend? My name's Jason. Jason! That's me. Do you want to see a magic trick, Rosie? Jason! Ta-da! <gasps> Jason? <laughs> Day. All the kids were so excited to dress up as their favorite characters. But no one was as excited as Caillou, who came dressed as a pirate. All right now, class, gather round. Settle down, settle down. Now, as you know from your wonderful costumes, today is World Book Day. But it's not just about dressing up in costume. It's about getting your imaginations going through reading. <gasps> so here are some vouchers. You can spend them on whatever book you like at the <gasps> store after school. Wow, Leo, look at this! Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to spend their vouchers. They thought long and hard about what book they wanted to buy. <sighs> Caillou and his friends were exchanging vouchers. There were so many different colors and pictures. Oh, cool! Yours has a dinosaur on it! Look at Clementine's! It has a wolf on it! Boring.
Land ahoy! That's where we'll find our treasure! Aye, aye, Captain Caillou! Hmm. Captain Caillou? 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 Uh, what did you guys get? With their imaginations truly fired up, Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to get reading. Caillou was excited to take his book home and have all the adventures of a pirate. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo was struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro... I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look!
Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. It was a very special day at Caillou's house because today was Mommy and Daddy's wedding anniversary. Caillou was helping Daddy make a special dinner to celebrate. Is it ready yet, Daddy? Almost, Caillou. Just a little while longer. Mmm, it smells yummy. Let's go into the garden, Caillou. We need to pick some vegetables to make a salad. Caillou looked at all the vegetables in the garden. There were lots to choose from. Which vegetables do we need, Daddy? First, we need a nice fresh head of lettuce. Can you see one? Caillou knew that a head of lettuce was round and had big green leaves. Here it is! I found it! Great job, Caillou! How about some juicy tomatoes? Right there! The little red ones! That's right! Okay, the last vegetable we need is a carrot. That's an easy one! Caillou knew that carrots were orange and pointy, but he couldn't see them anywhere. There are no carrots, Daddy! Look down here, Caillou. Carrots grow under the ground. See? Oh! That's where they were hiding! We'll need two carrots to make the salad. Can you pull out another one? I got it! <laughs> Great job, Caillou! That's everything we need. Let's go and see if Mommy needs any help. Mommy and Rosie were in the kitchen. Caillou was excited to show Mommy the carrot he had picked. Look, Mommy, a carrot! I pulled it out of the ground! It looks very tasty. It'll need washing before we can eat it, though. Do you want to help me set the table for our special dinner? Okay! Hold on a minute, Caillou. We have to wash our hands first. My hands are all messy. They're clean now. There we go. Much better. The fork goes on the left. Fork on the left. And the knife goes on the right. And the knife on the right. Nice job, Caillou. I'm all done making the salad, Caillou. Shall we go upstairs and get you changed into your nice clothes? Yay! Caillou liked dressing up in his nice clothes. They made him feel very important. Caillou had enjoyed the special dinner. Everything was so yummy. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you very much. What is an anniversary, Mommy? An anniversary is a day to celebrate something special. It's been another year since Daddy and I got married. Oh! Daddy had bought Mommy a shiny gold necklace. Caillou thought that it was very beautiful. So pretty, Mommy. Pretty! I think you and Rosie deserve extra big slices of cake for being so helpful today. Caillou 
had loved the special dinner, especially the cake. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your Grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. It's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. 
I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay, well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his <laughs> ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <sighs> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. He loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. And some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. <gasps> See, you pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou, there's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie. We need to get out of here. We need to move fast. Push that sail out, Caillou. 
Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. Caillou was playing with Gilbert. His dinosaur was tied to a long string. Gilbert was ready to pounce, tail twitching. Ready, Gilbert? Caillou tugged hard on the string. The dinosaur went flying through the air. Gilbert jumped up and pounced on the dinosaur, catching it proudly. Yay, Gilbert! You saved me from the dinosaur! Caillou continued to pull the string around the room. Oh no! He's still chasing me! Get him, Gilbert! Get him! <laughs> Gilbert chased him and finally pounced on the dinosaur again. You got him this time, Gilbert! Snack time, Caillou. You stay here, Gilbert. Caillou went off to have his milk and cookies that Daddy had prepared for him. Come on, Gilbert. Let's play now. Caillou looked around the room and under the cushions. Gilbert, where are you? Caillou was upset. He had told Gilbert to stay and wait for him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone, and I need him for my dinosaur game. Well, Gilbert is not here in the kitchen. Caillou went hunting for Gilbert. He checked in the basement and found his mommy. Hi, Caillou. What's going on? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me. He's probably hiding in one of the bedrooms. Let's play detectives and look for him. Yeah! Mommy and Caillou headed upstairs. A good detective needs to look for clues. What are clues? A clue is anything that will help us find Gilbert. So keep your eyes wide open. Caillou saw a piece of string on the floor in the hall. It was the string from his dinosaur game. Is this a clue, Mommy? That's a very good clue. The string was between two bedrooms, so Caillou picked one and went in to look for Gilbert. In his parents' room, Caillou looked under the bed, then under the chair, and all around the room. He's not in here, Mommy. That leaves your room, Caillou. My room! Looking around his room, Caillou did not see Gilbert. Gilbert, come here! Caillou looked under the bed and found his dinosaur. Another clue, Mommy! You are a good detective, Caillou. Caillou squeezed the dinosaur and it made a squeaky roar. Mommy and Caillou heard a quiet meow. Caillou pulled back the covers on his bed. Gilbert, I found him! Caillou pulled the sleepy cat into his arms. Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. 
Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then, Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby, too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer, too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, Everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were at play school. Miss Martin was teaching them all about fire safety. Who knows what a smoke detector is? A smoke detector tells us if there's any smoke in the air. And why is this important? Because if there is smoke, it means there is a fire. That's right, Clementine. Do any of you know where the smoke detector in this room is? Is that it? Not quite, Caillou. That's the fire alarm. If there is a fire, it'll ring loudly and let us all know. Is that it up there? That's right! The smoke detector is the round box on the ceiling with the flashing light. When there is a fire, smoke rises up to the ceiling, all the way up to the blinking box. Then we have to call the firefighters. I'd like to be a firefighter when I grow up! 
Well, you can tell that to the firefighters when we get to the fire station this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou and his friends arrived at the fire station, they all ran straight to the big fire trucks. Hey there, kids. It's great to have you all here visiting the fire station. Can we have a ride on the fire truck? <laughs> we can later, but there's a lot to learn about fire safety first. Let's head into the station, and you can meet my pal Sparky. He's a firefighter, too. Caillou looked around the station. He saw a big pair of boots, a long coat, and best of all, a shiny red hat. Wow, looks like we've got a real firefighter right here. What do you think, Sparky? Can he join the team? <laughs> As you've already seen, here are all our uniforms, which are very special. Fire is so hot, when we wear these, we're extra protected from getting burnt. Here's the pole we slide down in an emergency to get to the fire truck as quick as we can. If we took the stairs, we could trip from all the rushing we have to do. Can we slide down the pole? Well, you sure can. Let's meet the rest of the team first. Coming down! How do you know when there is a fire? Good question, young man. That's what this big computer here is for. The 911 call tells us where the fire is, and the computer tells us how to get there as fast as possible. Caillou and his friends liked learning about fire safety, but Caillou was more excited about having a ride on the fire truck. Is it time to have a ride on the fire truck yet? As long as Firefighter Steve says it's okay. Well, if you're going to be a firefighter, you're going to need to learn how to drive the truck. Everyone was excited to watch Firefighter Steve show off what the fire truck could do, especially Caillou and Leo. First, he showed them the hose for putting out fires. Caillou thought it was much stronger than the hose Daddy used to water the flowers. Then, the other fire officer stood on top of the ladder as it got longer and longer. Caillou watched it go up and down. Fireman Steve saved the best to last. Now, firefighter in training, I'm going to need you to flick the siren switch. What does the siren do? Press the button and find out. Caillou didn't expect that at all. It was a loud noise that would tell everyone that the fire truck was coming. Caillou had a fantastic day at the station. He couldn't wait to be a real firefighter someday. <laughs> Today, Caillou was going on a holiday trip. He was very excited. He had never been inside an airplane before. The plane's so big, Mommy. Much bigger than the ones up in the sky. <laughs> it looks bigger because you're closer to it, Caillou. Come on, we have to find our seats. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your flight today. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. We've never been on an airplane before. Airplane! <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Caillou and Rosie. Let me show you where your seats are. Here we are. Can I sit by the window, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. You can sit next to the window too, Rosie. You have to put your seatbelt on before we take off. Let me know if you need anything. Caillou tried to put on his seatbelt, but it was a little tricky. Do you need some help putting your seatbelt on, Caillou? No, I can do it. Uh, uh, maybe just a little help. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're ready for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Look! We're flying, Mommy! 
Caillou watched as the ground got further and further away. Soon, he could see the whole town below him. Look at all the houses! They're so small! Can you see our house, Caillou? Caillou wanted to get a better look out the window, but his seatbelt was holding him down. Sorry, Caillou, but you have to keep your seatbelt on until the captain turns off the seatbelt light. Where is the captain? The captain is in the cockpit flying the plane. I wish I could be a captain and fly the plane. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Caillou. Caillou looked back out of the window, but his tone had <gasps> disappeared. Everything was gray now. Hey, where did our town go? We're going through the clouds, Caillou. Caillou was amazed. Wow. It had been so wet and gray at the airport, but now it was bright and sunny. Wow, it's all sunny. It's always sunny above the clouds. The clouds look like mountains, Mommy. That's right, they do. Look, Caillou, the captain says it's safe to take our seatbelts off now. Hi, Caillou. I hope you're hungry. We get lunch in the sky? You sure do. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! I get my own little table, too. Airplanes are the best! Hello again, everyone. We're going to be landing very soon. I hope everyone is looking forward to their holiday trips. Caillou saw that the captain had turned the seatbelt light on. Look, Mommy, I did it by myself. Great job, Caillou. I can see our town again. <laughs> That's a different town, Caillou. We're flying over a different country. Hi. You must be Caillou and Rosie. Did you enjoy your first flight? Yes, it was amazing! Ooh, airplane! Somebody told me that you wanted to fly the plane. Can I? <laughs> when you're older, for sure. But for now, I'd like to make you and Rosie honorary pilots. Thank you! I hope you enjoy your holiday. Caillou was very excited to start his holiday but he really couldn't wait to fly back on the airplane again. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a special trip to the lake to celebrate the 4th of July. Caillou could see lots of people enjoying themselves. Who are all these people, Mommy? They're here for the party, Caillou. Today is a special day where people get together to celebrate and have fun. Caillou saw a group of children playing a game of tag. They all had their faces painted like different animals. Can I get my face painted too, Mommy? Of course you can, but how about we go for a swim first? Caillou had lots of fun playing in the water with Rosie. Look, Mommy! Rosie and I are being fish! Hi there. Are you here to have your faces painted? Yes, please. I want to be a bear just like my teddy. Great choice. Now hold still. Caillou tried his best to stay still while the nice lady painted his face, but the brush was very ticklish. <laughs> Hey, that tickles! Almost finished. There! Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. <laughs> he looked just like Teddy. <laughs> Look, I'm a teddy bear! <laughs> Who 
wants a hot dog? I do, I do! Hello there, what can I get you? We'll have four hot dogs, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Help yourself to ketchup and mustard. Thank you. Can you help me with the sauces, Caillou? Okay. Caillou squeezed as hard as he could, but the ketchup wouldn't come out. It's not working. You have to twist the top, Caillou. Oh, I see. <laughs> it was time for the firework display. Caillou was very excited. Are the fireworks going to start soon, Daddy? Any minute now, Caillou. Just keep watching. It's starting! Caillou had a wonderful day <laughs> celebrating with Mommy, Daddy and Rosie. He couldn't wait to do it all again next year. It was a very special day, because today, Caillou and his friends were going to an Easter egg hunt in the park. Are you excited for the Easter egg hunt, Caillou? I think so. What do I have to do? Well, the Easter Bunny has been busy hopping around the park, hiding some delicious chocolate eggs for you to find. And it's your job to hunt them all down. Wow! Do we get to eat them all afterwards? Of course you do. Caillou liked the sound of an Easter egg hunt very much. He was sure he'd be able to find the most eggs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this year's Easter egg hunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you all ready? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Caillou set off as fast as he could in search of the hidden eggs. Everybody was having lots of fun searching for the chocolate eggs, but Caillou hadn't found any yet. Caillou finally spotted an egg. It was hiding underneath a bush. I found one! Hey! That was my egg! Caillou spotted another egg. This one was hiding on a tree branch. There's another one! <laughs> hey! I found that one first! Caillou was getting very upset. Every time he found an egg, someone else took it first. Okay, everyone, come on back now. I think you found all the eggs. Suddenly, Caillou spotted another chocolate egg no one else had seen. He was so excited and took it before anyone else could. That looked like lots of fun. How many eggs did you all find? I found four. I found four as well. What about you, Caillou? How many did you find? Just one. Caillou was very disappointed. All his friends had found lots of eggs, but he'd only found one. Even Rosie had found more than him. Don't worry, Caillou. If I give you one of my eggs and Clementine gives you one of hers, then we'll all have three. Yeah, chocolate always tastes better when you share it. Thanks, guys. Chalky eggs! are delicious! Caillou thought that the Easter egg hunt was lots of fun. Though he wished he had found more eggs, he was very happy to have friends to share all the chocolate with. Okay, class, it's almost time for the weekend. So that means it's time to choose who gets to take home the class pet, Gerald. 
<laughs> now, who wants to take him home? Me, 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 me. Hmm. Caillou, why don't you take Gerald today? <laughs> so I get to feed him and play with him? And then tomorrow, he gets to run around in his ball. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's breakfast time. Gerald. Hey, Caillou. Hey, Leo. You want to come and see Gerald? I was just about to take him outside. Sure. So he needs to get some exercise, so I put him in his ball. <gasps> oh, no. What's wrong, Caillou? Where's <gasps> Gerald? I left him here, and now he's gone! <laughs> Mommy, I left Gerald in his ball, and he's disappeared! Don't worry, <laughs> Caillou. We'll find him. Be careful. There might be more traps. Come on. Close. 
are we going to get the diamond now? Looks like you guys are having fun. you. <laughs> Hello there. How many hot dogs do we need, Caillou? One, two, three, four. Four, please. No problem. Coming right up. Okay, any sauces for you? Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, can I do it, please? Sure, kid. Here you go. Mustard for me, please, Caillou. I'll have ketchup. <gasps> ketchup! Okay, mustard for mommy. Ketchup for Rosie. <laughs> I want ketchup and mustard. <gasps> and ketchup for Daddy. <laughs> well done, Caillou. You're doing a great <laughs> job. Thanks. Careful, Caillou. Mmm. <laughs> 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 
Caillou, I suppose it does. <laughs> daddy, Daddy! What is it, Caillou? It's just like the one from the parade. Can I get it, please? <laughs> okay. Caillou, that tree's too tall. You could hurt yourselves. Sorry, Daddy. Part of the adventure. Ah! Oh, Gilbert, your paw is stuck. Ah! Caillou, what did I say about climbing the tree? Look at what happened to Gilbert. I, I, I thought it was just me. I didn't know Gilbert was. It's important to think about others, Caillou. What you do can affect more than just yourself, okay? a small break in his leg, so we'll need to bandage him up and make sure he gets plenty of rest for a few weeks. But he's going to be okay? He's going to be just fine. But to help him get better, he's going to need a little help doing the things he would normally do. Oh, I can do that. I'm great at helping. <gasps> oh. 
Gilbert! <laughs> don't do that! The bandage is going to make your leg better! Hmm... I think it'll be better for Gilbert's leg if we give him a cone. Cone? Like an ice cream cone? Yum! <laughs> no, this is a special cone Gilbert can wear to stop him chewing his bandage. Rise and shine, sleepyhead! Ta-da! can't drink orange juice like we do. <laughs> Try to think about things that Gilbert likes. Uh, uh -huh. Release the dragon! <clears throat> Release the dragon! It's not a dragon, it's a scary T-Rex! What's the matter, bud? Gilbert doesn't want to play anymore. I tried playing dragon, dinosaurs, everything. He didn't even like the breakfast I made. All he wants to do is sleep. Caillou, remember when you broke your arm? It was frustrating trying to do things you normally did, wasn't it? The best way you can help Gilbert is by putting yourself in his shoes. But Gilbert doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> I mean, imagine what it's like to be Gilbert so you can try to help. Gilbert's leg looks all better. You must have taken really good care of him. I just imagined what Gilbert was feeling, and it was easy to help. <laughs> okay, everyone. I know we're all excited for today because it's dress up day! <gasps> Remember, the only rule on dress up day is to wear something that makes you feel happy! <laughs> That's right. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, pick something so we can start playing. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. You guys start playing and I'll catch up. Treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure is 
that way. <laughs> but there's no treasure. Yeah, there is. It's, uh... The treasure is... Uh... It's the lost treasure of recess! <laughs> oh. Watch out! Ninjas! Uh, <gasps> what do we do? I say we battle them. Maybe we can fly away. Dressed as Jeffrey, I am a fairy warrior. I yeah! Wow, awesome. Were all the other costumes taken? No, I just like this one. Magic is the coolest. But a fairy is a girl's costume. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Is it? Why? Uh, mm. it's just. What I wanted to wear. Uh, maybe you can be a Viking or a pirate or um. No. <gasps> Jeffrey dropped his wand. That wasn't very nice. We only told him it was a girl's costume, so we could help him pick out the right one. <sighs> Remember what Mrs. Martin said. The only rule on dress-up day is wear something that makes you happy. <sighs> he did seem really happy. Hey, Jeffrey! You dropped your wand. <laughs> Don't want it. But you need it to beat the ninjas. And you need your wings to fly. Your fairy warrior was really cool. And magic is the best. <laughs> Sorry for what we said about your costume, Jeffrey. You can wear anything you want. And if it makes you happy, then it's perfect for dress-up day. This is so cool. <laughs> wow, it sounds like you three are having a fun snorkeling adventure. We are. This is the best birthday ever. <laughs> oh, looks like it's about to get even better.
Wow, you were so fast! Nice driving, Clementine. You too, Caillou. Who's up for some volleyball? Me! I got it! Hey, Caillou. Can you help me with something? Sure. Caillou, it's almost time for cake. <gasps> Would you like to bring it out to Clementine? I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone. Are we ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Clementine! <laughs> wow, thank you, everyone. is actually pretty delicious. <laughs> hey kids, how about we just go for ice cream on the way home? Yes! Yes! Great! Watch me, Grandma! Caillou. What's the matter, Caillou? That boy on the skateboard reminded me of when I had an accident, Grandma. Do you want to tell me about it? It might make you feel better. It was when I had a skateboard from Leo for my birthday. I couldn't wait to try it out, but Mommy said I had to wait until we got the special knee and wrist pads. Did you need a helmet too, Caillou? Yes, but I already had my bike helmet. I was too excited to wait, so I put my bike helmet on and went into the garden. I took the skateboard to the top of the path and tried to go a bit faster. The wheel hit a stone and the skateboard threw me off. I put my hand out and I bumped my wrist on the ground. What did you do? I was crying and holding my arm and I went to find Mommy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, what's the matter? Did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> I fell off my skateboard! <laughs> Caillou, I told you to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and get you fixed up. Mommy had to take me to the doctor who told me that I had sprained my wrist. That's not broken, 
But it still really hurt, Grandma. I know it hurts, Caillou. I sprained my wrist once, too. Were you on a skateboard, too, Grandma? <laughs> no, Caillou. I slipped on some ice. Did you have a sling, like me? Yes, Caillou. I had to keep my arm resting in a sling for a few weeks until it was better. Thanks, Grandma. I feel better now. Have you used your skateboard again, Caillou? <gasps> no, Grandma. I'm too scared about falling off. But if you wear all your safety gear, you can practice and you won't hurt yourself if you fall. <gasps> Oh, that looks so much fun. I wish I was your age, Caillou. I definitely want to learn to skateboard. Gosh, my arms are tired. I must have pushed Rosie on that swing 100 times. Why don't we all have a banana and then we'll have some more energy? So, Caillou, what were you telling Grandma about? About when I fell off my skateboard and hurt my wrist. It's made Caillou scared of skateboarding again. But it does look so much fun. Yes, it does. When I was a young boy, I had a pair of roller skates. I fell over a lot, but I kept practicing until I could skate without falling over. It was my favorite thing to do. Maybe you should give it another go, Caillou. Yes, I think I will. But I'm going to wear all the special pads this time. When Caillou got home, he dressed in his helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. Go, Caillou! <laughs> oh, Caillou, are you okay? I'm fine, Mommy. My guards worked! Try again, Caillou. You almost had it. <laughs> I did it! Today, Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa, everything looks fuzzy. What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou, I'm going to show you some letters and I need you to tell me what they are. Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Um, apple. Apple. That's a good one. Uh, what about this letter? That's a C uh, for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie, can you tell me what this is a picture of? Woof, woof! 
Excellent. What about this one? That's right. Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? <laughs> Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well, what about these, then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome! Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight, but he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. Today was Caillou's birthday. Mommy and Daddy decorated the house. The balloons looked so colorful. Caillou was so excited he couldn't wait. He was putting on his favorite shirt. His friends were coming to celebrate with him and his family. Ta-da! What's wrong, Caillou? When will Leo and Clementine be here? I don't want them to miss the party. Don't worry. They'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou and his family were in the living room. Caillou decided he wanted to open Grandma's present first. He had told everyone that he wanted a dinosaur for his birthday. He opened the big box, hoping Grandma's gift would be the dinosaur he wanted, but instead, she had knitted him a sweater. A sweater? Caillou, I told you the presents are for later. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome, Caillou. Suddenly, the doorbell rang and Caillou ran to open it. Who could it be? Clementine! Leo! Caillou was so happy that his friends had finally arrived. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Caillou! Everyone was having so much fun at the party. Clementine and Leo were dancing, but Caillou was more interested in the gifts that they had brought for him. Can we open presents now, Mommy? No, Caillou. It's time to play some games. Everyone had lots of fun playing different party games. Leo is great at pinning the tail on the donkey. Clementine had the winning hit on the pinata. Rosie won past the parcel. Caillou was having fun with his friends, but felt sad he hadn't gotten to open the rest of his presents yet. Who wants their face painted? Daddy looked silly with a tiger painted on his face. Me, Daddy! I know exactly what I want to be! Stay still just a little longer, Caillou. I'm almost done. <laughs> it tickles, Daddy. Caillou giggled at the tickly feeling of the brush on his cheeks. He was very curious to see how it was going to look. All done. Caillou went to the mirror to see. He was very impressed. <laughs> he looked just like Gilbert. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> look, Gilbert. Now I'm a cat, too! Meow! Everyone was in the kitchen enjoying all of the delicious treats on the table, but there was something missing. Is everything okay, Caillou? When is my cake coming, Daddy? I want to blow out my candles. Why don't you ask Mommy? Mommy walked through the door with Caillou's birthday cake. It was the most colorful cake Caillou had ever seen. Rainbow! Happy birthday, Caillou! Caillou couldn't wait to blow out his candles. Don't forget to make a wish. Caillou knew exactly what to wish for, a new dinosaur. He took a deep breath and blew out the candles with all his might. Everyone was enjoying Caillou's special rainbow cake. 
Are you ready to open your present for me and Daddy, Caillou? Yay! Caillou unwrapped the box as fast as he could. Wow! My dinosaur! Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Rosie! Oh, no! Look what you've done! It's okay, Caillou. Rosie didn't do it on purpose. You can just put on your new sweater. Grandma held up Caillou's new sweater, and it had an amazing dinosaur on the front. My new sweater is so cool! It looks just like my toy! Thank you, Grandma! Caillou thought this was the best birthday ever. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? <laughs> Again! I know! How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie. And Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea. Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. OK, Caillou. Close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry, I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Watermelon! Oh, no! Oops, don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no! Ants! They're on me! They're on me! Me too! It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. 
Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. Lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We are going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh no! Rosie is drawing on the wall! Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Uh, no! No mine! <laughs> Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. <laughs> Be quiet! Do you want Mommy to get mad? Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. When Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. such a big boy and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Caillou goes caroling. Christmas was only a week away and it was a beautiful snowy day. Caillou loved playing in the snow, especially building snowmen. Look at my snowman, Daddy. Good work, Caillou. Why don't you ask Mommy for a carrot for his nose? Hmm... Mommy, may I have a carrot, please? Are you hungry already? We just had lunch. It's not for me. It's for my snowman. Oh, is he hungry? No, <laughs> it's 
for his nose. Oh, of course. I'll get one. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, honey. Mommy's got a lot of things to do. I can't hold you right now. <laughs> you can come out and make snowmen with me, Rosie. No! Rosie's not in a very good mood because she didn't have her nap. Did you, sweetie? It's okay, Caillou. Why don't you go put the nose on your snowman and then come back inside? But I was going to make more snowmen. A whole snow family. You can make them tomorrow. Grandma and Grandpa are coming over so we can practice before we go caroling tonight. What's caroling? It's when you go visit your friends and sing Christmas carols for them. It's fun. Caillou didn't think caroling sounded like much fun. He'd rather stay home and play in the snow. Hello, Caillou. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Someone's lost his nose. Is it yours? <laughs> no. Well, then, it must belong to this fine-looking fellow. A perfect fit. How's my little Rosie today? <laughs> so, what'll we be singing today? We Three Kings? Hark the Herald Angels? Good King Wenceslas? Caillou wanted to sing with the grown-ups, but he didn't know any of those songs. Let's start with something everybody knows. How about Jingle Bells? I know that one. We sang it at play school. Which reminds me, I brought something along. Here they are. Would you like to play the Jingle Bells, Caillou? And... Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> Caillou decided that going caroling might be fun after all, and he especially liked playing the jingle bells. After dinner, they were ready to go caroling. Rosie, you've got to wear your hat or your head will get cold. You need your mittens too, sweetie. No! We're going caroling, Rosie. It'll be fun. Bells! No, Caillou has the bells, honey. Here, Rosie, you can have them. Thank you, Caillou. That was a very nice thing to do. Very Christmassy. Their first stop was at Sarah's house, right next door. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Caillou decided he liked caroling. He liked surprising people. And singing was a lot of fun. Caillou also liked staying up past his bedtime. And he especially liked looking at all the pretty Christmas lights on the houses. They went to lots of houses to sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And sometimes they got a special treat. Their last stop was the seniors' home. Caillou had been there lots of times with his grandma. He wanted to include Mrs. Wilson, one of his friends. I'll be right back. Don't start without me. Caillou, what a surprise. We're singing carols in the big room. I can drive you there. Jingle 
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Very excited. There was going to be a party at play school today because it was the last day before the winter holidays. Is Miss Martin's present in the bag, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've asked me three times already this morning. Can you check again just to make sure? It's here, all right, and I'm sure Miss Martin will love it. Did you put in my stocking? We're supposed to bring Christmas things for show and tell. You mean holiday things. Your friends celebrate many different holidays at this time of year. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I hope everyone likes my stocking. I'm sure they will. Let's go! Mommy, reindeer! And look over there! Leo's got one of those at his house. That's right. Jewish people put those up to celebrate Hanukkah. Do you remember what it's called? Hmm. Leo told me, but I forget. I'm going to ask him when I get to school. Good idea. Thank you very much, Caillou. You're welcome. Merry Christmas! That smells good! Xavier has brought burritos for everyone. That's his favorite holiday meal. This is going to be a yummy day. I brought dessert for everyone, but it's a surprise. Oh! Wow! Hi, Leo! Hi, Caillou! What's that called again? I forget. It's a menorah. Hmm. Is that corn? Yup. It's Muhindi for Kwanzaa. Muhindi. Kwanzaa is the holiday that Clementine and her family celebrate. Nice Christmas tree! Thanks, Clementine. And those are nice, hmm, muhindi. Children! All right, everyone, let's start our show and tell. Yay! Yay! Dreidel. It's for a game we play during Hanukkah. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I shall play. Who wants to try? Leo showed me how to play at his house. Caillou 
Pooh was very proud that he knew how to spin the dreidel. Look, I'm a dreidel too! <laughs> the children got a chance to talk about things they did during their winter holidays. Clementine brought a mat called a makika. Her family put things on it to remind them of their relatives during Kwanzaa. I always put out this picture of my grandpa because that's me he's holding when I was just a baby. Emma brought in her favorite Christmas tree decoration. A beautiful angel. Jason and Jeffrey's family decorate their tree with popcorn. Only sometimes there isn't enough popcorn because the twins keep eating it. Finally, it was Caillou's turn. On Christmas Eve, I hang out my stocking, and when I'm sleeping, Santa Claus comes and fills it with treats. And I brought treats for everyone. Gumdrops. Yay! Yay! At lunch, the children shared the different foods they had brought. Lee Wun brought chopsticks, and everyone tried to use them. Thank you all for bringing food today. We even have dessert. Look, I did it! I used my chopsticks! Do you want some of my grandma's fruitcake? Mmm! Do you want one of my banana squares? My dad made them. Sure. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, <laughs> still yummy. <laughs> All the children tried to use the chopsticks. It was harder than it looked. <laughs> After lunch, they all went outside to play. Let's Yay! build a snow fort. Did you have fun today, Caillou? Yeah! We had the best party ever! I love the winter holidays. All of them. Make each day special. Make each day special. Make each day great. Make each day special, it's never too late. Not just on birthdays or when holidays near. Make each day special all through the year. Every day we should give, every day we should share, every day we should help, every day we should care. Make each day special, set your goals high, just follow your dreams, be with to try in winter or summer, spring or the fall. Make each day special if you're big or you're small. So make each day special, there's lots you can do. Yes, make each day special, cause you are special too. Caillou's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was one of Caillou's favorite times, and his favorite smell on this special day was that of freshly baked Christmas cookies. <sighs> that looks like a lot of cookies for one little boy. 
They're not all for me, Mommy. I'm giving two to Rosie. All right, then. Just remember to leave some for Daddy. He likes Christmas cookies, too. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, Christmas cookies! Cookies! No, Gilbert! That's my present for Rosie! Rosie present? Uh-huh. Daddy helped me wrap it. Pretty ribbon! No, Rosie! You can't open it yet. Do you know who puts all these presents under the tree? <gasps> Rosie family! Right. And who else brings us presents at Christmas time? <gasps> Santa! Yeah! And he's coming tonight! It had been a whole year since last Christmas. And Caillou was a much bigger boy than he was then. He wondered if Santa would bring bigger presents to bigger boys like him. <laughs> Funny how these ornaments keep falling off the tree. I wonder why that is. When can we open our presents, Daddy? Tomorrow morning when it's Christmas Day. Can't I open one now? You have to wait until Santa comes and leaves his gifts, too. When will that be? When it's dark and you're fast asleep, Caillou. When it's dark? Christmas cookies, my favorite. Thank you. Daddy, Daddy, it's dark. Now can Santa come? It has to be nighttime dark, sweetie. But don't worry, it'll be nighttime soon. Caillou was impatient. He wanted it to be nighttime right now. No, Daddy! Those cookies are for Santa. Hmm, and the glass of milk, of course. How silly of me. Are you getting something else for Santa? Not for Santa, Mommy. For the reindeer. Oh, how thoughtful. Well, Caillou, I think it's nighttime dark now. Yay! It's bedtime! Santa's coming! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay up all night so I can see Santa. But Santa won't bring your presents if you're not asleep. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mm. Sweet dreams. Caillou had an idea. If he stayed up all night and pretended to be asleep, then he would be able to see Santa. Nothing in my stocking. That means Santa hasn't come yet. I'm going to stay awake and watch for him. And you can stay awake with me, Gilbert. Caillou pretended to be asleep, but he was really listening carefully for Santa. Only it was taking a long time. Caillou was beginning to wonder what was taking Santa so long. Then he remembered that on Christmas Eve, Santa had to deliver presents to all the children in the whole world. If only Santa had a helper. Maybe he'd be able to deliver his presents faster. Oh, my, it's hard to see where you are when it's snowing so much. Where are we, little helper? We're over my street, Santa. Oh, are we now? Well, Jason and Jeffrey are next on my list. Do you know where they live? There, Santa. That's their house right down there. Splendid. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, thank goodness you're with me tonight, Caillou. Without your help, I'd be completely lost. <laughs> I bet I could help Santa. Hmm. It was so warm under the covers that it was hard for Caillou to stay awake. Caillou decided to close his eyes just for a minute. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, Caillou! Ho, 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 ho! Before long, it was morning. Christmas morning. Mommy, Daddy, Santa came! Santa came! So he did! And look! Presents! <laughs> we told you Santa would come if you went to sleep. He did! He did! Can I open them now, please? Grandma! Grandpa! Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Caillou. Caillou! Merry Christmas, Caillou! Merry Christmas, Caillou! here for a minute? In a minute, Daddy! Caillou was waiting for something and he didn't want to leave the window right away. Now, please. What is it, Daddy? I need you to put away your toys so I can vacuum your room. The faster Caillou finished cleaning up, the faster he could get back to the window. Caillou was waiting for the school bus to arrive. He couldn't wait until he was old enough to go to school. Hi, Sarah! Caillou! I have one more thing for you to do. Caillou? You there? Coming! Caillou had already taken a school bus once, but he couldn't wait to take it every day. I wish I could go to school. Lucky for him, at the end of the day, he was going to get his chance. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. My class is having a little brother and sister day at school. And since I don't have either one of those... Would you like to go to school with Sarah? Yes! That sounds like a great idea. The next day, Caillou and Mommy were packing for Caillou's first day at school. I think we have everything. Pencils, paper, lunch. We forgot this. I have to bring my dinosaur to school. I don't think you'll need your dinosaur today, sweetie. There'll be so many things to do at school, he'll just get lonely in your bag. Okay. The school is big. Caillou thought the school was very big and was afraid that he might get lost. Come on, Caillou. That's the bell. We have to go to assembly. Okay, Caillou. I'll pick you up after lunch. Have a good day at school. Caillou was beginning to feel a little afraid of going into the school. Do you want to hold my hand? You'll see, Caillou. School is a lot of fun. Caillou was happy that he was going to school with Sarah. He felt like a very big boy. Wow! Caillou had never seen a classroom before. He thought it looked like a fun place. Put your backpack here. Can we play ball in the classroom? We're not allowed to play with balls inside the school. Where is everybody? They're in the gym for assembly. 
Come on, we have to go. What assembly? It's when the principal talks to us. You'll see. What's the gym? Come on, Sarah, let's play. Caillou, we can play now. The principal's about to speak. We have to sit down and listen. Caillou didn't realize there were so many rules at school. He didn't want to sit down. He wanted to continue playing. We can play later on, okay? Where do we sit? On the floor. Like this. Now we have to be real quiet and listen, okay? Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today is a very special day, and we have a lot of first-timers among us. Psst. Sarah! For those of you that are here with your big brothers... But Sarah, I really well, have to go to the bathroom. This is an extremely <sighs> fun, fun-filled, action-packed day. After the bathroom was done and assembly was over, Caillou and Sarah went back to her classroom. You're lucky today's a special day. Usually we only get to write on the blackboards when the teacher asks us to. What was that? The bell for recess. I like your school, Sarah. So do I. But I wish we had more time to play outside. Caillou didn't understand why Sarah wanted more time to play. He loved being in the classroom. When do we read and write? I don't think you'll learn all that today. But we'll do a lot of fun things. Come on, recess is over. Already? Caillou thought the bell rang a lot at school. Caillou loved to paint. And he was happy to find out that they painted at school, too. I'm going to draw a picture of your school. Don't forget that one day this will be your school, too. What did you bring for lunch, Caillou? A sandwich, carrots, an apple, <coughs> and some chocolate pudding. What do you have, Sarah? Fried chicken, cheese, celery, and a cookie. Want to switch? <laughs> I like switching lunches. I don't get to do that at home. Maybe I'll have dessert first. Caillou loved being at school with Sarah. He wasn't able to switch lunches with anyone at home. So, how was school, Caillou? I drew on the blackboard and even switched my lunch with Sarah. Really? That sounds like fun. But I didn't learn how to write. That's because you're still too young. Don't go growing up too fast, okay? Caillou couldn't wait to grow up and go to school every day. Even though Caillou wasn't quite ready for school yet, he was ready for one thing, nap time. Caillou's Kitchen. Caillou's mommy was preparing a special meal for guests that were coming for supper that night. Oh, dear. This doesn't look very smooth. Vroom. What are you doing? I'm cooking supper for our guests tonight. I want to cook, too. But I want to help. Caillou, just wait a minute, okay? Stand back. This is hot. I can do it! Let me! Well, let's see what you can help me with. How about you wash the lettuce while I finish this? Yay! Caillou was happy to help Mommy cook. He wanted to show her that he was a big boy. Look, Mommy! I'm washing the lettuce! Oops! <laughs> Here, why don't you rip it up and then you could dry it, okay? Here you go. This will make it easier. Just turn this, and the spinner will dry the lettuce. Ah! How's the souffle coming along? Oh, it's getting there. I'm cooking! I can see that. 
Caillou, why don't you go play outside with Rosie now and let Mommy finish cooking? There you go, Rosie. Stay out here and play for a while, okay? Hi, Caillou. What you doing? I was helping Mommy cook, but now I have to play outside. I love to cook. Let's make up some recipes. Okay, let's make mud pizza. Mud pizza? Well, I guess we just need to find the right ingredients. Let's see. This pizza needs some cheese. And pepperonis. We can use rocks for pepperonis. There. All finished. Me too. No, Rosie. Dinner's not ready yet. Right. We need to make the salad. We can use leaves. Now we have to wash the lettuce. There. All done. This soup is going to be good. Gilbert, stand back. This is hot. Gilbert! Gilbert! Whoa! Sarah, look! This could be dessert! Look, Mommy! We made a cake for dessert! It looks delicious! Thank you! And we brought flowers, too! They're lovely. I have just the place for them. They're here! Coming! Caillou's Sea Adventure. Gilbert, wake up! Look at my kite! Whee! I'm going to the park to fly my kite today! Caillou, what are you doing? Mommy, get dressed! You said we were going to fly my kite today. Remember? I don't think we can, Caillou. They're calling for rain all day. All day? Aww. Caillou was very disappointed. He was looking forward to trying out his new kite at the park. Aww. What's wrong? I have nothing to do now. You could play with Rosie. I don't want to play with Rosie. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you could have a friend over. Leo! Hello? Can I speak to Leo, please? Oh, thank you. Bye. He's not there. Caillou was discouraged. He had no one to play with and nothing to do. Cheer up. With a little imagination, I'm sure you can find something to do. <laughs> I can't see Rosie. Where is she? Caillou? She was just looking at it. Pirate! The pirate drawing and Mommy playing with the sheets gave Caillou an idea of what he could do. Okay, Rosie. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find something to do yet? Uh-huh. Well, that's strange. I could have sworn there was a... Caillou! Caillou was building his very own pirate ship. He thought it would be fun to pretend to be the captain of his very own ship. Hey! Gilbert, you wrecked my ship! Me too! Rosie, no! 
It's mine! Rosie, let go! What's going on in here? I'll settle this right now. Huh? But I was playing with it. You can only play in the living room if you two play nicely, okay? Rosie, this is my game! Swimming in the sea! Caillou was having fun now playing with Rosie. He liked the fact that he could always make her laugh. Wait, Rosie! I know where I can get a fish! <laughs> Look! There's a fish in the water! It's a shark. He wants to eat the fish. <laughs> Gilbert! We're safe now, but we have to build a boat. Catfish! <laughs> I better swim to shore and get some stuff for our boat. Boat! Boat! Hey, Caillou! What are you up to? I'm in the sea. Me and Rosie are going to build a boat because Gilbert is a shark. Well, I haven't seen any sharks around here. Maybe he's hiding. Here, maybe you could use this to find him. Caillou was having a lot of fun playing pirates. Now he was all set to build his pirate ship with Rosie. Rosie, you're in the water. Let's build our boat. There. Now we can be on the lookout for sharks. Look, Rosie, an island. Maybe there's pirates. Pirates? Maybe the pirates took Gilbert. I see a pirate. Daddy! Hurry, hide from the pirate. He's going to catch us. Hard. I'm a fearless pirate. Look at this, an abandoned boat. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm going to climb aboard. Oh, no, I surrender. You caught me. Okay, Mr. Pirate, where's Gilbert? I don't know. Hey, everyone, time for lunch. Can we have a picnic on my boat? I think your boat is a little too small, Caillou. Caillou knew what to do. If his boat was too small, he just had to make a bigger one. Mommy, can we use the picnic blanket? Gilbert, <laughs> I found you. All right. I guess a rainy day is a good reason to have a picnic indoors. Here you go, Gilbert. Tuna fish! <laughs> and so, on a rainy day that began with nothing to do, Caillou and his family had a wonderful picnic by the sea. Story time, kids! Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Makes Cookies. It all happened when Caillou was just three years old. La, 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 Caillou, you have to play quietly now. Rosie's going to take her nap. Shh. Caillou? But I want to play. You can still play. Just do it quietly. Caillou felt that being quiet wasn't as much fun as being noisy. Caillou? I asked you to play quietly. Cookies! I want cookies! I'm hungry! So, Caillou 
went to the kitchen. decided to make some honey cookies. And so, Caillou got to work, making a whole bunch of honey cookies. Fat ones, skinny ones, flat ones, and round ones. Oh, Caillou, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making cookies. Look at the mess you made. Do you want to help Mommy clean it up? Yes, Mommy, me and you. We have to make sure the kitchen is nice and clean. Now, where's that dustpan? I found it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, my favorite helper. Caillou. Caillou was very proud. He was helping Mommy make cookies. Mommy. You made a mess. <laughs> You're right. Mommy makes messes, too. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, try the cookies. Try the cookies. Mmm, who made these good cookies? I did, and Mommy helped. What are you making, Caillou? A big mess. Come on, kids. It's Caillou story time. What's the story called, Grandma? It's called Caillou Isn't Afraid Anymore. It all happened when Caillou was three years old. Mr. Hinkle lived next door. Lots of children said there was a ghost in his scary old house. Mr. Hinkle's house sure looked spooky. And so did Mr. Hinkle. Why, Caillou, what's the matter? It's Mr. Hinkle. He's scary. Why do you say that? Mr. Hinkle is scary. Look, he wants to catch me. He's not there. And besides, I know Mr. Hinkle, and he's very nice. Why, hello there, Caillou. <gasps> Poor Mr. Hinkle felt sad when he saw Caillou run away. Don't be frightened. Mr. Hinkle came over to say he was sorry you were scared. He's really a nice man. I don't like him. I think you're just afraid of Mr. Hinkle because you don't know him. Hello? Can I come in? Come in, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle would like to... Caillou? Oh, but where did Caillou go? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Oh, boy. I think he's playing hide-and-go-seek. And I love playing hide-and-go-seek. Ready or not, Caillou, here we come. Now, where, oh, where could he be? Caillou! yoo -hoo, Where are you? Gilbert, they're hear us. Oop, I think Caillou's hiding downstairs. 
We're getting warmer. I wonder if he's in here. I don't see him. No, he's not here. Let's check another room. <laughs> There's only one place left where Caillou could be. <laughs> I think I'm getting warmer and warmer. Caillou forgot all about being scared of Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see you two are friends now. I want to play again. I'd like that very much, Caillou. And this time, I'll hide and you can seek. I like you, Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> Grandma, this is dinner time, not story time. Well, this is a story about dinner time and eating your vegetables. Back when Caillou was just three years old, he didn't like vegetables very much. In fact, he hated them. Caillou, eat your vegetables. Grandpa will be coming soon to take you to the park. But you can't go to the park if you don't finish your vegetables. I hate vegetables. I want chocolate chip cookies. Cookies are for dessert, Caillou. Found some! You can have a cookie after you finish your vegetables. <laughs> I love vegetables. Eat my vegetables, Daddy. Oh, no, you don't. At least try to eat your vegetables, Caillou. Grandpa's here! Come on, Caillou, let's go to the park. I'm going to the park with Grandpa. And after the park, we'll go see Grandma. She's making us supper. Caterpillars eat leaves so they can have the energy to turn into butterflies. Turn into butterflies? What's the bird doing, Grandpa? It's looking for worms to eat. Worms give them the energy they need to fly south for the winter. And squirrels eat nuts. They save them up for later when it gets too cold to go outside. Come here, squirrel! We're home, and we're hungry as bears. That's because we are bears. Rawr. Peas and carrots, mmm, <laughs> yummy. Bears eat berries. Tonight, these peas and carrots are our berries. Rawr. Rawr. I'm a bear. Rawr. Rawr. Later that night, Mom and Dad drop by to pick up Caillou. And how was Caillou today? Rawr. I'm a bear! I'm a bear, too. And we both ate all our vegetables. We ate our berries, Grandpa. And that means it's time for... Cookies! Story time, kids! Here it is, silly. Caillou wasn't lost at all. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's All Alone. Whee! Mommy, Mommy, can I have some juice? Oh! Do you want to play?
play with me, Mommy? Shh, Caillou. I'm busy. Fourteen, fifteen. Can I help you count? One, two, three, four. Caillou, this is very difficult. I can help you. I can help you. Sixteen, twenty, one, two, three. Oh, no, Caillou. Look what you've done. Caillou, I really need to be left alone right now. I'm too busy to play. Why don't you go find Daddy? Maybe he'll play with you. Caillou had really wanted his mommy to play with him. Wait a minute. Maybe Daddy could play with him. But Caillou didn't know his Daddy was very busy, too. Daddy! Daddy! Wow! Is it broken? Not anymore. I fixed it. A snowman, Daddy. Look, I'm a snowman too. Look, Daddy. Caillou, I have a lot of cleaning up to do and I really need to do it alone. Why don't you go and find Grandma? Caillou was quite sure Grandma would like to hear all about his Daddy's troubles with the washing machine. There's a good girl, Rosie. Close your eyes, dear. Hmm. I thought she'd never get to sleep. Ah, at last. Look at me! <gasps> I'm a snowman! Shh! Caillou! Shh! Rosie's sleeping. Daddy was fixing the washing machine, and all these bubbles came out all over him. There were bubbles everywhere, Grandma. Shh! Caillou, please be quiet. You'll wake up Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie and I really need to be left alone. Why don't you go and play with Gilbert? Gilbert, you'll play with me, won't you? Oh. Maybe Mommy's finished counting. I'm sorry, Caillou. I just have to be on my own right now. Do you want to play with me? Caillou, come on down, honey. It's time for your snack. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he never even heard his mommy calling. Caillou? <laughs> are you all right? We were a bit worried about you being here all alone. What are you doing? Nothing. Just playing. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Tidies His Toys. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> well, it's not like Caillou to disappear when we're having chocolate pudding. That's right. Caillou adores chocolate pudding. Just look at this mess. What did I tell you, Caillou? I'm not supposed to leave my toys on the stairs. Caillou knew very well he wasn't supposed to leave his toys on the stairs. Put them in your room, please, Caillou. Chocolate pudding. I love chocolate pudding. Caillou, come here, please. Hmm, that sounds important. I think you'd better go and see what Daddy wants. Caillou, what have I told you about leaving your toys in the driveway? I'm not supposed to. That's right. So I want you to put them away. What about my chocolate pudding? Your chocolate pudding can wait. Here, I'll help you. Even though his daddy was going to help him, Caillou still wasn't very happy. Caillou, I want a word with you. 
Uh oh. Caillou, you have to tidy up all these toys. Then you can have your chocolate pudding. Yes, Daddy. Are you sure we picked up all your toys? I'm sure. Look. Then it's chocolate pudding time. Oops, I think you better take a look at this. <laughs> you know, Caillou, you really have a lot of toys, and they take up so much space. I know. And there's lots of old ones you don't really play with anymore. What should we do? You could give some of the old ones to Rosie. I could give her one toy, and maybe some more later. What you really need is a big box to put your toys in. Would you like to help me make one? Wow, yes! As soon as I finish my chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> there, that should do it. Thank you, Daddy. Let's see if the lid fits properly. What are you doing, Pirate Caillou? Looking for treasure. Pirate Caillou didn't know that he was going to find a real treasure that day in a most unexpected place. I can't wait until Caillou's a bit older so I can teach him how to play football. Like I taught you. Hey! Come on, Pirate Caillou. It's time to go home. I don't want to go home. I didn't find the treasure yet. Well, wherever it is, it'll still be there the next time. We're home, Mommy. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning up. Can I help? Sure. Here, put this in the box. OK. Oh! Sorry, Mommy can't come to the phone. She's busy. Oh, I thought I told your dad to throw that old thing away. <laughs> He's such a pack rat. What's a pack rat? A pack rat is someone who can't throw anything away. Am I a pack rat, Mommy? Well, you do have a lot of toys in your room that you don't play with anymore. I play with all my toys. Caillou, I really have to finish sorting these books. When Caillou saw the old trunk, he was very curious to see what was inside. Caillou didn't know it, but he had discovered the treasure he was looking for. Wow! A chest full of things his daddy had collected. Whew. <laughs> what have you got there? Smile! I'm taking a picture! Wow! <gasps> what have you found now? A whole bunch of stuff! Let me see that. I wore this when your daddy took me to a special dance. I can't believe he kept it. Hey, what are you guys up to? Look, Daddy! Oh, <laughs> my old harmonica! You're such a pack rat. Mommy said I'm a pack rat, too. What have you got there? What is it? I don't believe it. This is my old college football. All it needs is a bit of cleaning up and some air. Would you like me to teach you how to play? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I taught him everything he knows about football. Ready, Caillou? Here it comes! Uh. It was a beautiful weekend and Caillou was very excited because he was going camping. Mommy, I need to go! Now! 
Are you sure you can't wait? What's the matter, Rosie? Uh, mommy gone. <laughs> You're right. And so's Caillou. There you are. Yay! Where's Caillou? <laughs> he needed to make a pit stop. Caillou! I'm finished. Come on, we better get going. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Um, on second thought, What's the matter, honey? I... I... I think I better go, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a moose crossing sign. There are a lot of moose in the forest, and that tells drivers to watch for them. A moose? Wow! Can I see one? Rosie, too! Hmm, you shouldn't get your hopes up too high, Caillou. Why? Because moose are very shy. Caillou thought it was strange that such a big animal could be shy. Hi, folks. Welcome to Camp Rome. My name's Pierre. What's yours? Caillou. You're going to have lots of adventures here, Caillou. You can play games and go swimming and even climb a mountain. What would you like to do first? I want to see a moose. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Moose stay away from people most of the time. I don't think we've ever seen one in the camp before. What do you say we give them a hand with that? Nice work, Caillou. Are you coming in, Caillou? Wait for me, Mommy. Oh. What's the matter, sweetie? Come on, the water's great. But something's swimming in the water. Those are little fish, Caillou. Don't worry, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Caillou wasn't so sure that he wanted to swim anymore. Um, it's too deep. It isn't deep at all. It's cold. Don't you want to splash me? <laughs> Once Caillou got into the water, he wasn't afraid anymore. <laughs> and pretty soon it was time for lunch. Mmm, something smells awfully good. I could eat a horse. Well, I could eat a moose. <laughs> moose, moose. Look. Oh no, a chipmunk. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> we really shouldn't feed the wild animals, Caillou. Why? Because they have to get their food from the forest. What are you two doing this afternoon? We're going mountain climbing. Yeah! That's it, Caillou. Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, whoa! Are you okay? Caillou was frightened when he slipped, but he wanted Daddy to see how brave he was. We're almost there. Look! Oh! We did it! I'm very proud of you. A 
I guess mountain climbing must be hard work. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's bedtime. Everything's ready in the trailer. I want to stay in the hammock. It would be fun to sleep outside. Okay, then. Caillou loved sleeping in the hammock in his daddy's arms. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. very impressed by the moose. He had never seen such a big animal before. Mommy, Mommy, come and see! Daddy, what? Daddy, look! Oh, wow! Shh! We have to be as quiet as mice, remember? Moose are very shy. It's a moose. Moose! Moose! <laughs> moose gone. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou thought it was funny that such a big animal could be frightened away by a little girl like Rosie. Afternoon, Caillou and Sarah were playing in Sarah's backyard. Sarah, supper time. 28, 29, 30. Yay, I did it! Let me try now. You're too little to jump rope. Show me how, Sarah. It's time for supper, Sarah. Come in and set the table, please. I'll show you how another day. Bye, Caillou. Why don't you have supper with us, Caillou? I'll call your mommy and ask her. Your mom says you can stay, Caillou. Why don't you help Sarah set the table? Just put them in front of each place. What are they? They're chopsticks. You eat with them, like this. What's this? It's Chinese noodles and vegetables. I love noodles, but I don't like vegetables. What's this? It's an egg roll. Don't worry, it's not a vegetable. Oops. <laughs> Good shot, Caillou. Chopsticks can be a bit tricky at first. Caillou learned that it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of using chopsticks. Oops. Sarah's cat, Ollie, was very happy that Caillou had come for supper. I eat my egg roll with my hands. <laughs> Maybe you should use your fork now, Caillou. Okay. Eat your bok choy, Sarah. It's good for you. Look, Sarah. Caillou is eating all of his. Bok choy is a vegetable, Caillou. You hate vegetables. I like Chinese vegetables. Is that a dragon? Yes, it's a Chinese dragon. Would you like to try it on? Ooh, you make a very scary dragon, Caillou. Roar! <laughs> Green is my favorite. Green is my favorite, too. <laughs> Caillou, what are you doing? I want to try the chopsticks. Oh, you can't eat this with chopsticks. It's much too slippery. Wow! Oops! Show me how, 
now, Caillou. Caillou was able to show Sarah something new. Mommy were on their way to play ball in the park. What's that? You've heard that before, remember? I know. It's to tell us when it's safe to cross. Excuse me. I'm looking for the dog run. I know where it is. You do? Where? The park is just over there. You can't miss it. Thank you. Every time Caillou went to the park, he liked to look at the map and decide which way to go. I want to go this way. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, they won't bite you. You have two dogs? Oh no, I'm a dog walker. That's my job. Caillou thought being a dog walker sounded like a great job. I'm taking these guys to the dog run. It's here. I'm going there. Maybe we'll see you later. Still, guys? Is there anything we can do to help? I don't think so. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Coming through! Huh? His name is Dylan. He can shake hands. Want to try? Hi, Dylan. I'm Caillou. Why don't you throw that for him? He's pretty good at catching balls, too. it with this, honey. Okay. A little farther on, Caillou's mommy met an old friend of hers named Barbara. And you must be Caillou. I like your dog. His name is Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Can I play with him? You can pet him. Will he bring my ball back? I'm sorry, Caillou, but I can't let him play ball with you. <gasps> Maxwell is a very special dog. He has work to do. Work? Yes, he helps me. What does he do? Well, Caillou, I'm blind, and Maxwell is my guide dog. Blind? My friend Barbara can't see. <gasps> So Maxwell's job is to see for me. Caillou was surprised to learn that dogs had jobs to do just like grown-ups. Would you like to see how he helps me? Barbara is blind, remember? That means she can't see you nodding your head. 
So if you would like to see how Maxwell does his job, you have to tell me. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. This is Maxwell's harness. I hold on to it and he leads me everywhere. How you loved seeing how Maxwell showed Barbara which way to go. What's Maxwell doing now, Caillou? He's sitting. When he sits down, he's telling me it's not safe to walk. Wow. that Maxwell was a smart dog. A very smart dog. sound meant it was safe to cross the street. We can go. But Maxwell knew it wasn't completely safe to cross just yet. Good boy, Maxwell. Good boy, Maxwell. Way to go. It was a beautiful winter day when Caillou went to the ski hill with his family. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Well, maybe there was a cloud or two. <laughs> Are you ready to go skiing, Caillou? Caillou was a little afraid because he had never skied before. Ski, ski, ski! Come on, Rosie, we're going to go have some hot chocolate. Now, let's put on your equipment. Why do I have to wear this? For the same reason you wear one on your bicycle. It protects your head. Uh-oh. Whoa! These boots are too heavy, Mommy. Don't worry. We won't be walking much in these boots. They're for using with skis. How? Like that. Look at Sarah. Sarah! Seeing his friend ski made Caillou want to try it right away. Sarah, wait for me! No, but you can watch from in here and be warm and cozy and drink hot chocolate with your daddy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. It's too high. Caillou was afraid of going up on the tow lift. He thought he would fall. But if you want to ski down, first you have to go up. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. See, Caillou? This isn't so bad. Yes, but I'll be hanging on to you with this. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Mommy, I want to ski like Sarah. That's called the snowplow. First, you have to make a pizza slice with your skis. Like this? Yes, but you have to bend your knees a little. Like this. Hey, Caillou, everyone falls when they first learn to ski. Come on, try again. You have to put your skis sideways like this. Caillou wanted to show Sarah that he could do it all by himself. Uh, I don't want to ski anymore. But look, you've almost skied all the way down. Caillou was proud of himself. He may have fallen a few times, 
But he always got up and tried again. <sighs> I'm cold. I'm going in for hot chocolate. Ooh, me too. Rosie can't wait to go skiing when she's a little older. Oh, I wish there was some way we could all go down the hill together right now. I know how we can, Mommy. very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very first time. When is the train coming, Mommy? Train! It shouldn't be much longer, sweetie. Phew! These weigh a ton. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy! Daddy! I hear the train! It's coming! very excited. But as he watched the train getting closer, he began to feel a little scared. Mommy! It's very big, isn't it? Caillou couldn't believe how big the train was. The noise frightened him. I don't want to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, it's time to get on board. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, then maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you, they'll show up. Really? Really. But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Daddy, it looks like the train station is moving. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> Why don't we go exploring while Mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? Caillou was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. It's kind of hard walking in a train, oh. isn't it? Caillou thought walking on a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Caillou had never seen such a small bathroom before. He wasn't sure how anything worked. Are you okay in there? I don't know how it works, Daddy. Hey, it's just your size. Here, you press the button on the wall to flush, and don't forget to wash your hands. Caillou thought it was funny to be in such a small bathroom. It was much smaller than the one at home. Hi. Oh, hello there. And what's your name? Caillou. What do you think of my kitchen? We have a kitchen too, but it's a lot bigger than yours. Well, maybe it is, but does your kitchen travel to faraway places? <laughs> no, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant too? <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Boy, that looks good. So, have you been on the grand tour? Let's see, the bathroom, the kitchen, and now the restaurant. I'd call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? That's the best part. 
Caillou was having so many wonderful new adventures that he couldn't imagine what could be better than his triple brownie sundae. What's a dome car? Oh, the dome car is a wonderful place. You climb up some stairs, and suddenly it's like you're flying in a plane. A plane on the train? Next stop, the dome car. Whoa! Slow down, Caillou. You wouldn't want to get a stomachache and not be able to go flying, would you? Go on up, Caillou. Caillou huh? really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How do we fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. Wow, Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you wow. see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, 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 vroom. Caillou pretended he was flying his very own plane. He loved watching the passing clouds out of the glass roof. Come on, Caillou, it's time for bed. I don't want to go to bed. Caillou loved being on the train so much that he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? That's strange. Is it dark outside? Did you brush your teeth? Hmm. Well, then I think it's time for the magic words. Do you remember what we have to do, Caillou? Say sleep three times and clap my hands. Sleep, sleep. Rosie, wait, I'm not ready. Now you and Rosie have to shut your eyes real tight, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Now don't peek. Okay, Caillou, now slowly say the three magic words. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, Caillou, you can look now. Wow! Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Stanley. Caillou was gently rocked to sleep by the sounds of the train rolling through the night. Under sail. It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Boat! And it was a perfect day for sailing boats. Whee! <laughs> Not so fast, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, that's my boat. It's nice, huh? Caillou didn't really want to give the boat back. He wished he had a big boat just like it to float on the lake. I want a boat like that. You have lots of nice boats of your own at home. Come on. It's time to launch the fleet, Captain. What's the matter, Caillou? Plastic boats are for babies. I want a big boat like the one at the lake. Hop in. Can we go to the lake and watch the boats, Mommy? We're going someplace even better. You and Rosie are going to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? Hi, Caillou. I'm down here trying to make room for my new workbench. Would you like to help, Caillou? It's your dad's old kiddie pool. Why, with a bit of patching up, this would be great for you and Rosie. What's in here, Grandpa? Oh, all kinds of old stuff. Maybe even dinosaur bones. You know, I bet this still has some life in it. A boat! Oh, my old boat. Your dad helped me make that when he wasn't much older than you. It's just like the ones at the lake. Let's go sail it. It's a little worse for wear, Caillou. I don't know if it'll sail. Please, Grandpa. I want to sail it now. Well, I did build it to last. I guess we could give it a try. It's working. Uh, 
That's all right. Every good sailor has setbacks. But if we put some work into fixing this boat up, it'll be as good as new. Caillou and Grandpa spent all afternoon working on the boat. Why don't you paint a sea for Caillou? It's perfect. Let's go to the lake now. Oh, we can't sail it yet, Caillou. We have to wait for the paint to dry. Caillou felt like the paint was taking forever to dry. Is it dry yet? I guess it's probably dry now. Yay! Oh, that's okay. We'll make our own lake. Come on. One morning, Caillou was helping Mommy make his favorite breakfast, pancakes. We need to add an egg. I can get it, Mommy. I don't see any eggs. Uh-oh, looks like we're out of eggs and I can't make pancakes without an egg. This was very unlucky. Caillou had really been looking forward to those pancakes. No pancakes? No pancakes? <laughs> Let's go buy some eggs, Daddy. Good thinking, Caillou. I can be back with a dozen eggs in no time. Maybe since we only need one egg, we can borrow it from Mr. Hinkle. Why don't you go and ask Caillou? Why, hello, Caillou. Can I have an egg? Well, sure. That's a farm fresh egg. Caillou had never seen a brown egg before. Have you ever been to a farm, Caillou? Would you like to visit one? Yes. It looked like this might be a lucky day for Caillou after all. He was going to get his pancakes and maybe a trip to a farm. It's really nice of you to take Caillou to your sister's farm, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, no trouble. Sis can always use some extra help around the old place. Finish up your pancakes, Caillou. It's time to go. All done. Are you ready to be a farmer for the day, Caillou? This is where I lived when I was a little boy. Caillou had trouble imagining that Mr. Hinkle had ever been a little boy. Hi, sis. <laughs> Why, hello, Polly. And who have you got with you? This is my neighbor, Caillou. He's come to help you out and be a farmer for the day. Well, pleased to meet you, Farmer Caillou. I'm Mr. Hinkle's big sister, Nancy. Oh, Nan, you've gone and covered me in flour. <laughs> well, of course I did, Polly. I'm baking a pie. Come on in and you can help. Like this? You need more flour on your pie and less on your face. What next? We need some apples for the filling. I can get them. Um, where are they? I'll show you, Caillou. Follow me. Caillou thought if he could just jump a little higher, he could reach the apple. <laughs> Looks like you need a boost. There were so many beautiful apples. Caillou didn't know which one to pick next. How about that one? But with Mr. Hinkle's help, he picked the nicest apples on the tree for their pies. Like this? That's right. Caillou couldn't wait to taste the pie. When will it be ready to eat? 
Oh, not for a little while. How do you like to help feed the chickens while it's baking? I bet you've never fed chickens before, have you? Sometimes I feed my cat, Gilbert. Well then, you're the right man for the job. Caillou didn't like the chickens chasing him. It frightened him. I guess Gilbert isn't as pushy as a bunch of hungry chickens. This will keep them away. Shoo! 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 Hey, come back! Now it was Caillou's turn to chase the chickens. I found it! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. The egg had appeared like magic. Where did the egg come from? It came from the chicken. That's where eggs come from. This was my favorite place when I was a kid. Why? Mostly because of this swing. You're going to love it. <laughs> higher! Higher! Whee! <laughs> I want to do it again! Caillou <laughs> was frightened by the angry cat. Gilbert never hissed at him like that. It's okay. You probably scared her more than she scared you. Look! Well, I'll be. She was just worried about her kittens. If we're very quiet, we can sit and watch for a while. Caillou had never seen such small kittens before. He thought he could watch them forever. Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked the kitten so much, he didn't want to leave it. Can I keep the kitten, Mr. Hinkle? It's very young, and it still needs to be with its mother. And you have Gilbert waiting for you back home. Come on, I smell pie. Caillou thought it was the best pie he had ever tasted, and he made it himself. You're back. How was the farm? Caillou was a big help. He fed the chickens and picked apples and made his own pie. And I got to hold a baby kitten. Farm fresh eggs, how wonderful. No, Mommy, chicken fresh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>